The clock is here. Salute to you as well. Hello, Arul. The Egyptian. First time catching a stream. Do like the work you do. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're going to get started right away because I got some stuff to do today. I want I want to do some stuff. Now, this stream is supposed to be at 12. Uh, so I'm starting early. Since it's going to be pretty repetitive for the first... Well, the tasks on, on screen and the progress made is going to be kind of repetitive for the next two hours or so. So I figured... They're not going to miss much other than just some combat. So it is what it is. Yeah. So. Chicken man. Hello. How are you today? Lars. Hello. Bluesy. Hello. Is my internet going to behave today? Probably not. Is mine going to behave today? Is mine? That's, that's the only one I care about. I'm selfish like that. I just care about myself. <laughs> Mason, hi, welcome. Plan today, in case anyone's curious. Um, probably going to do combat for the first two hours or so, possibly longer. Uh, I'd like to get to at least... I'd like to at least get over 10 million. 10 million credits. If I can. Um, if we go a little over that, fine. But today... We're going to leave the starter systems, so... The Federation's going to kick me out. And I'm never going to see him again. Uh, and that's fine. So the goal is combat until I can earn a decently equipped, not just a, not just a stock, but a decently equipped ASP Explorer. Okay. So combat until I can decently equip an ASP Explorer. And then we're going to, I'm probably going to do the road to riches because it seems like it's a good fit. Um, there's, uh, if you don't know what the Road to Riches is, I don't either. That's why I'm going to do it. Um, but from what I can tell, it's essentially an assortment of systems you can do in a row, just, you know, exploring. We're going to go off and seek different systems, scan planets, see what they're like, and uh, see what the exploration part of the game is. And um, hopefully at that point, when I'm done with that, I don't think I can do that all today, so... But the goal is just to get to the decently equipped ASP Explorer and start the Road to Riches. That's my goal today. I won't be able to finish it. It's going to take too long, probably. But probably going to do, like, 30 systems, right? 30 different systems in that. And scanning different planets to find out data about them. And then we're going to turn that data in for a whole lot of cash, hopefully. Hopefully, we turn it in... For enough cash to buy a python that's tentatively goal okay i don't know if that's gonna be possible we'll see um then what i'd like to do after that which is like probably scores of hours away so long time not 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 today um probably from what i you know this is just going off research here probably what i'd like to do with the python initially is to get it fitted for uh, crew cabins, um, just a whole lot of economy cabins, and um, do transport routes, basically. Um, two two different routes, specifically. Um, there's, I think it's called Robigo Mines. You could do that for a little while. I know it's probably going to get monotonous, so I might not do it on stream. But then again, I might do Robigo Mines as my trucking stream replacement. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but Robigo is supposedly, what I can see anyway... If you fully outfit your Python just right, you can make about a million bucks a minute. Seems pretty good to me. Because um, I'm about to do two hours and make like six. Maybe maybe five. Yeah, so that's good. It's outside the bubble, so you'll need a fuel scoop. Yep. I will have what I, I got the build. I got the I got the Python build. I'm, I'll be set. <laughs> We're going to be ready to go. Um, I've got to do a, a little update here, too, just for people real quick. Let me see if I can get the music to get the music to cool it just a little bit. Um, here's a 
a little update on my ship here. So I've decided to take, um, I'll just show you in this view, I guess. Yeah, I'll just show you in this view, I guess. Um, where is it? Right here. I've changed my ship a little bit. I got the build, yep. FSD, fuel scoop, you know, loading it up with pretty much all economy cabins, except for like one, which can maybe take some business at the point, at the point, you know, no first class. I, I got all that. I did my homework on that Python build. Cause it's like, I'm like, hmm, a million dollars a minute. That seems good. <laughs> I can do that to farm some cash when I need it. Um, anyway, I have been doing some stuff offline and we're up to 5.2 million. So getting to 10, 12, I think that's possible today, but I am now outfitted with just, I'm all combat now. I've got, I've got lasers. I'm combat now. Um, I've, I've removed the mining gear from this, this vessel. I've tried mining, did a little bit. I don't have access to the right tools to do it very well. Yeah, I, I gotta find a station that has the stuff I need. And I, I don't know, like I've been to a few stations. Um, I've tried some trade missions. I've tried some, you know, move data from this point to that point. They're all very easy. They don't pay very much. And I'm finding that every time I try to mine, I keep getting scanned anyway. I know, I now know why. Um, I, I jump in, I wait for myself to get scanned two or three times by pirates. Uh, and then once it seems like they're leaving me alone, and then I can start mining. I've been doing that, but I haven't been moving far enough away from the spot where I uh, jumped in. I need to move away from that spot a little bit more. Uh, so I haven't been doing that. But overall though, like mining's cool, but I find that combat just pays way better, way better right now. So I've just been doing that instead. So the ship is mounted with uh, all the lasers I've removed. Um, I haven't removed all the cargo bays because like, if I do get some loot, you know, like if I want to pick up some stuff for engineering resources and stuff, I, I can maybe do that. But I only have one shield booster because I don't have enough power to handle two of them. So, um, I thought maybe, you know, maybe I could just do this one instead, but I don't have enough power. Um, I need, I need a bigger power plant basically. Um, what else? Optional internals. I still have some cargo racks in here, but I've now swapped it for shield banks and shield generators instead. And, um, I still have the fuel scoop. I don't think I need it right now on this ship. So I could probably drop the mass. Um, I'm wondering if this is even, it's a thousand bucks. It's, it's whatever, you know? I don't think it weighs all that much. I'd like to see the information on that. Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't tell me weight here. So, I'm thinking maybe it doesn't weigh anything. It doesn't really have any weight, so it's not. It's not bothering me to have it. Then it doesn't matter. Um, and so because I got rid of the limpets, controllers, I got rid of all that stuff for mining. Um, I just decided to bring back the docking computer because it's just convenient. Now I can just hook up. I can get to the station to turn in my stuff and I can say, okay, dock please. And then I can walk over and get some, get some water and refresh myself while my ship parks itself. I just, that's just way easier. I can dock myself, but why if I have a way to do it? Yeah. What's up, Theta? Good to see ya. Finally got some C-sharp to work after three hours of struggles. Guess I can take a break now. Okay, Kentucky, come on in. I might know nothing about this game, but if you want to role play FedEx and Star Citizen, call me. Let's do it. <laughs> um, see, I, I think that's it. Pretty much, that's, that's it. I've just made combat-centric changes to my craft, and it's... It's a lot more capable now. Um, better shields, four lasers instead of two. And um, I can't actually fire all four lasers continuously. It will drain my power too fast, even if I put all my power to my weapons. Um, but then I still have the two lasers going interchangeably. 
and so that's fine if i just take a break it, the, the important thing is that i have initially for like the first four or five seconds i have all four lasers just burst firing one dude um and that does a lot of damage so if they're close to if they're close to death i can really drive it in there and that's been helping out a lot with um helping out a lot with that they won't leave me alone all of these messages are them telling me that if i leave i can't come back just like by the way we just like to remind you over and over again if you leave wink wink if you leave please leave <laughs> yeah uh now we're i'm an ally by the way to the pirates uh our pilots federation administration considered an ally now so yeah i don't know if that's gonna help me much but here we are all right i'm gonna go to there i think yeah i think that's where i want to be <laughs> Just be warned, the docking computer has been known to crash ships in the past. Oh, has it? Not as useful, then. That's what you're saying. That's because you keep jumping into mining areas. What you want to do for mining is to just find a random ring that is pristine and metallic and jump in anywhere randomly. Yeah, no, I got you, John Doe. I understand. Th that's the reason why I said I don't have the proper equipment to, to properly mine. Um, I, I absolutely think that mining is worth it, but only if you have the right ship and the right equipment to find the right place and you're looking for the right materials, you know? So like, I would love to just go out and platinum mine for three hours and just come on back with, I don't know, like a billion dollars or whatever it's going to be, you know, come back with like 600 tons of platinum. That sounds great. Um, but you know, I don't have the proper gear to find that. I'm not in the right systems to find that. And I don't have the right ship to haul that much. So basically what I've done is I've decided I'm going to do what I can do for... Hey, music. Really loud in my ear. Thanks. I'm going to do what I'm capable of doing. Like the best money that I can make for what I have. That's the way I want to word it. Yeah. It can scrape the side or the bottom of the mail slot in bigger ships. Hey, Nato. 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 Welcome in. I'm an old salt in this game. When I was a rookie pilot, there were no fancy docking computers or super cruise computers. I like the super cruise computer a lot. I probably will never get rid of it. I like it. And actually, it, it actually makes it faster. Um, it actually makes it more profitable if you use the super cruise computer with say for example robigo mines um it actually shaves it actually shaves time time off of your journey to use the to use that computer um which i found to be interesting um reading up about it though it, it enables you in the same amount of time to what would normally be nine trips you can do 10 now and um so i think that's kind of worth it that sounds nice Disruptive mass, my ass. You're a disruptive mass. I'm really far away from the station. Don't don't give me that lip. Alright, so we're going back over to the high threat area. Howdy, you got me back into a delete into elite. Cool. Welcome in. Um, I do have one, like I am taking friend requests and stuff, right? Like they're up here. Um, I do have one friend request that I don't know who it is. So I, I'm, I'm not gonna accept you unless I know you, you know what I mean? Like, or at least I know you a little better than just you appeared in chat once. So um, my recommendation, if you really wanna be on my friends list, if it means that much to you, I don't know if it ever will, but um, my recommendation is to get into discord and like get to know us a bit and you know come a little bit closer into the community here and then maybe we'll talk about that no yeah see I, like i know clock district that one's easy i got you on that one
I want to make sure that my uh, computer here is actually going to do what it's supposed to do. It should it should it should? There it goes. It is okay. Uh, new friend request from Clock District. You're in. Congrats. <laughs> Such as, congrats, such as it is. Hey, when it's, when it's a dotted line like that, it means it's on the other side of like an obstruction, right? Yeah. I need to go around the planet to get to it. That's what it means, I think. You're actually in solo this time. I am, yeah. I'm actually in solo this time. I plan to be in solo until I feel really comfortable and then I'm then I'll drop out and be open all the time. When we when we first started, apparently when you start a new save, you you start in open. That's why I was in open. But I plan to leave the starter systems today and uh, maybe do some exploring, hopefully. So I thought I would go solo today just to make sure I'm not going to, you know, brand new player gets his experience ruined by try hard, <laughs> basically. I didn't want that. I think this uh, gas giant here is obstructing my ability to go faster. So we'll round ourselves around. And... There we go. And drop out. Pew. Just like that. This is supposedly a high resource. This is supposedly a resource extraction site, but I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any asteroids. Where's all the rocks? How are you extracting resources if there are no rocks? I don't see any rocks at all. I think I took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. <laughs> Somebody. Yeah, I see. There's an awful lot of combat. I'm seeing that. That's definitely happening. Let's, uh. Yeah, maybe get, uh. Turn the old night vision on. See if maybe we're missing something here. There's a rock. There's all the rocks. Elite through the eyes of a new player has been too long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Why is... Do you think this... Um, as experienced people, do you think that this game has a good amount of growth in terms of player base? Do we get... Do you guys get a lot of new players? Oh. Is this... There's a lot of pirates here, but I don't see a whole lot of law enforcement. I'm not seeing an awful lot of, I'm not seeing much on, on the, in regards to law enforcement around here. There it is, okay. So this is a wing of three. That's why, there's the fighting. Now the fighting begins. Let's see what we get here. That's law. I think a wing of three is gonna be pretty tough. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of cops here. Ooh, this guy might go down. This guy might go down. Got him. I keep hitting the... I keep hitting the... 
middle mouse button to look around. I need to stop doing that. I rebinded my keys to make them easier, but I keep remembering the old keys. <laughs> you gotta cut. I gotta stop doing that. Did it again. He's gone. Goodbye. I do. Oh, I hear Archer. I think yeah, that's what I said it to. I think yeah, Archer. We got Chaff. He's gonna make me hit a cop. Damn ya. <laughs> that stuff is cool. I need to get some of that later, I think. Really, really drives the lasers nuts. He's gone. He's gone. All right, sweet. So like, how long have I been here? How long have I been here? Okay, so what, 10 minutes? Not even, right? I'm at, yeah, 369,000 in 10 minutes. I mean, this is way better than early game mining. It's way better than early game mining. It's, it's actually, I think it's actually too good and they should nerf it. It really, I think they should nerf it, honestly. It's a little too strong. It almost makes it senseless to do anything else. You know what I mean? I almost, I want to take this guy. The only reason I don't is because he's in the exact same ship as me and he's considered a master and I just don't know. Like it's not worth the, it's not worth the trouble and taking hull damage when I'm already making money waiting. I'll just be patient. I have, I have taken people by myself. I, I, I have, I have done combat plenty with, without relying on police to weaken them. Um, when I was trying to mine, I had to defend myself a couple of times, but it wasn't that difficult to defend myself. And half the time, the person scanning me was in a sidewinder and it was fine. Yeah, I'm at half a million already, and I've been here for, yeah, like 10 minutes, maybe. I will be, I will be leaving the starter systems today, yes. Um, I want to, I want to be, I want to be able to go get an ASP Explorer today. So, most of this, most of what I'm doing for the next couple hours is just earning money so that I can buy that better ship. Pretty much. Imperial Courier, huh? Fancy. Fancy ships. Your fancy ship will not save you. Missing something. I'm missing somebody. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna try to get out of here. That is a smart idea, but unfortunately, too little, too late. Goodbye. 
And I'm just gonna hang out as a police officer today. This is what police officers do, right, chicken? Isn't this what happens here, chicken? This is what police officers do all day, right? They just look for people to shoot. Isn't that it? They're just like wondering, oh, cool, who can I shoot today? Which one of you would like to resist? <laughs> You'd benefit from the Guardian FSD booster. Um, I would benefit from a lot of things, but if they have, if they aren't available in the starter system, I don't have access to them yet. I again, I do plan to leave today, um, so I will uh, look at that. I also would, I think I would benefit from a kill scanner as well, a kill warrant scanner, and I probably want to get that before. I think after this run, if you will, this this run of bounties, um, I think I will probably look to, to get out of the system then. I can do this out of the system. Like, I don't have to be in the starter system to do this, so. So I think a kill warrant scanner would be great because then I just get even more money for these. You're shooting over here. Are you weaker? Which one of you has no shields? You look like the weakest so far. This is a squad. There's a this is a wing of three, so like all three of them are gonna go down here, and I gotta figure out which one do I prioritize first. I think I'll pick a fight with this one. gone. Find his buddy. Where's his friends? Friends? Where are your friends? Well, I don't have any friends. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it you? Nope. Wait. It's the other guy. Go back to the other guy. Yeah, you. Get credit for you, too. See how strong this is? It's very strong. Too strong. I'll use it while it's strong. I think they need to rebalance it again. They, they just made it. They just made it better. Like, it wasn't even this strong a little while ago. They just had updates recently that made this better. Now it's just you. Now it's just you, buddy. You against everyone. How's it feel to be Detroit? <laughs> Contact. I don't know if I got him. He might have been out of range. Nope, I did. Cool. Let me guess. I'm uh, going to get re my license revoked if I leave the system. Is that the message? Oh, promotion to novice. Hey! I'm a novice fighter with almost a million in bounties already. Do you think he could get Li Rung Roy? What the heck is that? <laughs> Li Yang Roy space for cheaper ships. I plan to go all over the place, but I'm not quite there yet. Where is. No more fighting? Oh, maybe it's over here. No, that's just where the cops are. Cops are there, but that's not where they... That's not where the fighting is. Usually, I just hang out with the cops, because they're going to go where the fighting is anyway. They're the one that causes it. Kind of. I mean... They just took off. They just took off. Yep. 
Do I want any of these things? Like shield emitters, worn shield emitters, tempered alloys. Do I, do I want any of these things for like engineering later? Does it matter if I collect them now? Lee Young Roy is a faction that usually has ships cheaper in their space. Oh, cool. So I was kind of hoping to get to elite status with fighting at some point, you know? Because um, it seems like it might be the easiest one to get it. Maybe not. Um, but mostly so that I can get into Jameson. If I can get into Jameson, I think I'll be set forever. As far as, like, what's available, right? They have everything. Jameson is basically Frank's Red Hot. All right, I gotta get over and find whatever ship they're shooting at right there. Could be another one. Could be a different one too, but. Papa, F oh Pippa, it's Pippa Francis. Pippa Francis. Hello, Pippa. Oh wow! You, right when I got here, huh? You knew I was a threat. You saw me coming. I I know. Very intimidating. My my Cobra. It's got four lasers now. I get it. It's like I've been working out or something. I get it. I don't know if I get credit for... Yeah, there it goes. I, I think I want to be shooting him... Right before he blows up, not so much like well before he blows up. I don't know if they give me credit for that or not. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to switch to this target now. How does the how do the bounties work? Do you have to be shooting him right before he blows up, or is it enough to be just the last player that shot at him? How does that work? Explosions and trading are the easiest ways to reach elite. Oh, okay. Let me see. Lee Young space is 15% off. Is it, it, I'd never heard of it. All my research, I've never heard of that station. Is it like really far away or? Do you have to have a certain allegiance with somebody? I mean, I'm not saying it's not, I don't have enough experience to know if it's good or not, but um, I was just curious that I've never heard of that. Nobody's talking about it. It's weird. I don't think this guy's going to cause much trouble. Seems like he's going away from me. Not going to bother. I think I want some different tunes. Need a, need, need a different, different, different vibe here. Let's go uh, here. Eh. Eh. Eh, whatever. Fine. Point two million. I usually go back to the station after two million, but just to like cash them in so I can't lose them. But if there's like a lot of fighting, then I'll stay a little longer. 
Is a galactic power not a station? Okay, see, that's I've still never heard of it, so yeah. So does this galactic power, how do you buy stuff from them? Exactly how do you buy stuff from them? It would stand to reason to me that such a faction would have indeed have a station. Bounties are like exploration data lost with your ship. Yeah, I think the general idea is if you die, you can't claim the reward. <laughs> like, you know, dead man tell no tales. I would assume that that includes tales of victory. <laughs> All right, where did they go? They were right here. That's why they're like, where are you? What? You're moving around me or what? There you are. I'm just disoriented, I guess. Okay. I don't see any cops around you yet. Unless that's what you are. Nope, that's just a rock. This night vision sometimes gets me where I think ships are rocks and I think rocks are ships. It's the, only the ability to target them tells me the difference between them. Well, if there's not going to be a whole lot of fighting here. Oh, hang on. If I can get over there in time. E. E. Come on, get over there. That seems pretty far away. I'm, I'm boosting. Come on. Look at all this debris. Kind of wild. All right, here he is. I got here in time. It's just him and one cop, right? Oh, there's looks like there's two cops. We got two cops here. Okay. He should be uh He should be going down pretty quick with these guys all here then. guy gonna get involved here too yeah so second day still in starter systems also if you haven't seen the first stream at least watch the beginning of that um because i sort of walked through a little bit about my my desires at least in terms of the back seating um they're a lot more relaxed than a than usual but there's still a couple of ground rules I would really like appreciate people following. Also, if I'm in the middle of combat, I'm probably not looking at chat as much, although this guy is taking forever to go down. So we need more reinforcements, okay? I mean, I guess I could start shooting. That would help, right? If I would just participate in the fight, you know? Diamondback Scout's not that bad, but this guy's considered dangerous. I think I'll probably turn in, turn in the bounties after this guy. Also, do you guys, um, I, I was going to fit my ship with repair limpets. Is that a thing worth doing? Um, I realize that they only repair hull damage, and it's probably better to invest in just, you know, not letting your shield drop. I don't think this guy's gonna go down. 
He's just, his shield is forever. <laughs> his shield just never stops existing. Oh, we got a third player now. All right, now we got, some, okay, four cops now, good. These guys are like, guys, we need help with this dude. He's, his shields aren't dropping. And they're like, we're on our way. That's better. Now I'll just wait for your stupid chast to go away. And we're in. Yeah, this is the kind of reinforcements we needed a couple minutes ago. Okay, I get it. It takes a while to get anywhere in space. I understand. Hi. Uh, yeah, I like watching them explode. <laughs> All right, one and a half is pretty good. Unless there's somebody else right here. No, doesn't look like it. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the one and a half then for now. Where the heck am I going? Oh, my hard points, right? Okay, how about now? Thanks. Charles Spencer, how are you? Hey, I have a little bit more information for you now, Charles. That came in just before I started the stream. Um, so, I'll, uh, I'll fill you in on it, but in a nutshell, join us for dinner. <laughs> join us for dinner i have to figure out where exactly we're going to be doing that dinner um because i don't i don't i don't mind driving a little bit if it saves you some driving you know what i mean but um i don't exactly know where you are so i don't know how far away so i need to get that information from you too i i, I don't remember like what town like just general area that you live in you know what i mean Paralympics are more for long trips outside habited space. Yeah, okay, I figured so. It also said in the description of those repair limpets, it said um, that they're used for repairing like other ships. So I wasn't sure if they could repair me or not. Um, that's why I was asking. I think this gas giant is causing me to not be able to go fast. Pretty much. They can't repair yourself. I mean, I, I figured, but it didn't say. There's a lot of things in this game that the game just does not tell you. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning how ineffective a lot of the UI is and how how reliant players are on, on third-party tools with this game because they just don't give you proper info, you know? I wish that wasn't the case. But here we are. <laughs> Understatement, yeah. <laughs> it's like, there's so much, which is cool. Like, Okay, so like one thing that bothers me a little bit, right? is that you can't know any information at all in game about a system until you personally visit it. That part bothers me. Cause like you would think there is, you know, some sort of communication between systems that would fill you in. <laughs> like, oh, has anyone been there before? Okay, good. I looked it up on the internet. No. I mean, imagine going to a zoo, or wanting to go to a zoo, but not having any idea at all what the zoo looked like, how much it cost to get in, what animals are at the zoo, the reviews for that zoo, nothing. Until you drive into the parking lot, and then all of a sudden you know that stuff. <laughs> like, what is that? Uh... Wow, wow, wow. 
Coming in hot. Slower down here. Slow, 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 slow. And yes, so what you're about to see is absolutely a thing that exists and it's absolutely a thing that I have on this ship. However, for anyone who is new to the stream and, and didn't, didn't watch the last one, I absolutely know and like docking myself. I absolutely like it and I, I am quite good at it. However, um, I recently changed the ship and decided, you know what, like whatever, I'll just go ahead and have it, you know? So I do have auto dock installed on the ship because while I was, you know, attacking all these guys, I would, I would do this for like, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then I'd get up, go to the bathroom or, you know, get up and get a drink or whatever the case is. And, um, sorry, I had somebody, I could hear somebody coming in at really high speed. And I didn't want them to hit me and for me to get in trouble because of it, because I'm over the speed limit. So like, for example, I could just do this. And now I can talk to you while it docks it. Okay. Now I can just chill with you and the ship will just do it all by itself. And I like that. Yeah. Galaxy map. Sometimes you can buy system data. Do you have to buy the data? Really? I should get Odyssey. I actually don't want Odyssey right now. Um, I just hear like the on foot content is really anticlimactic to me. Um, like there's not a whole lot to do on foot and the, the shooting, I, I keep looking into it cause I want to learn more about Odyssey and I'm actually kind of underwhelmed by what I see by like the on foot combat stuff. Like, I, I'm not interested in the on-foot combat because of how bad it looks to me. External, like, outside looking in. It doesn't look very good to me. I like the idea of going to planets and getting on foot and doing science stuff and, like, getting on plants and stuff. But I feel like that's one of those things where once you do it a couple of times, okay, I've experienced that now. You know? If it was cheaper, I would get it. But it's $40. It's more than the base game. I'm not interested right now. If I can get it on a, if I can get it on a hella discount, then cool. Um, I'll get it on a discount, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy it. Just buy Star Citizen. You mean you mean you mean donate to the Kickstarter for Star Citizen and hope that they finish it? I heard Star Citizen's just as bad, <laughs> as far as like. A lack of content, lack of things to do, which to be fair, and I, I say this external looking in, okay? So I'm not an authority on either one of these games. So I'm not dissing the games, all right? I'm speaking out of ignorance. So like acknowledged speaking out of ignorance. These types of games are almost always, you get out of it what you put into it, right? So like right from the get go, when you start Elite Dangerous, it's just like, okay, you're authorized to fly. Have fun, Commander. Oh, and then here's the single mission to go to that station just to make sure that you're comfortable going from station to station. After that, it's nothing. You just, you do whatever you want to do. And so I get that you get out of it what you put into it. Um, so Star Citizen is going to be the same way that in that way. Things I like about Star Citizen, I love graphics. Elite looks pretty good, com like pretty comparable. I do like in Star Citizen how it appears as though it's more of a role play. It's more like, like you have to go through your ship and get to the cockpit. I like that approach. I think that, I think though, that what will probably happen, again, outside looking in, right? What will probably happen is the first 10, 15, 20 times that you have to go through your ship, right? To, to get to your cockpit or get to storage or whatever, It'll be great. It'll be awesome novelty. But when you've done it hundreds of times, the extra time it takes, you, like, you just want to get to your destination now. And like the extra time it takes to walk through the station and do all that stuff, like, like trade, for example, why do you need to get out of your ship and walk all the way to wherever it is, wherever you happen to be to make the trade? 
you should be able to just negotiate that at your ship. It's a, it's a cargo yard. Like, people take it out of your ship. You delivered it. Off you go. I like that about Elite. You don't have to leave your ship to trade. So, like, the first couple times you do it, I feel like it's going to be cool. Like, hey, hey, awesome. I'm playing this game. But I think after a while, you're going to be like, man, I have to walk all the way over there to do that now. And it's going to lose a little bit of its magic opinion. Like, again, outside looking in, I feel like that would probably happen. So I technically have enough to buy an ASP Explorer right now, but I'm not going to because one, I can't make it my own yet. And two, if I bought it, I would not have rebuy. <laughs> so um, can't fly without that. So uh, off we go. If you think Elite has confusing UI, Star Citizen is worse. I acknowledge, though, like, Star Citizen is not a completed game, right? Like, Elite is a completed game that just keeps getting updated. I wish they would... Again, I only have, like, 10... I think I have close to 15 hours in Elite Dangerous. Yeah, 15 hours. That's what you're dealing with right now. So, again, my, my opinion doesn't matter much. But I think there are some things that they could improve right away that would help new players know what to do in the game. Um, know what's possible in the game, know what's available in the game, uh, give new players a little bit more direction. Uh, I think the training segments at the start of the game and the menu and stuff, th those training is, is really helpful for flying. Um, you know, they, they teach you some combat stuff, which is kind of good. I mean, it's a good training tutorial for... It's good training for combat, in my opinion. Um, I think where it lacks is everything else just doesn't um doesn't share enough i wish it would share more who cares about new players right yeah yeah, yeah. i don't matter <laughs> For me, when I was a rookie, the problem was I had the FSD. I wound up going bankrupt, actually, in the game. The problem I had was the frame shift drive. I wound up going bankrupt. Why did you go bankrupt from the frame, frame shift drive? Yeah, rookie tutorials are bare bones. They still kind of are. Um, I think the bulk of the good information for new players is um, like on YouTube. Right? Like, just like everything else with Elite, it seems the, the best information is from third parties. Not, it's not first party information. Which naturally means that the documentation that you're looking at could, could very well be out of date because the game could shift and change that information to where if it was first party, that first party could change the information alongside their update. kept running out of fuel and exploding oh okay okay i see well i don't i want to believe that i won't have that problem i want to believe that i won't have that problem but um i don't know we'll see i haven't left the starter system yet i think after this run this run should give me another couple of million and it should allow me to yeah i think if I, can, if I maybe go back up to like two and a half million this time, that should give me what I'm looking for, I think, in terms of uh, money to begin the road, the road to riches. Because this ship isn't going to do it. Road to riches got to be done by a different ship. Hey, I'm new. What's the game? What's up, Victor? This is called Elite Dangerous. It's basically a flight simulator for a futuristic space galaxy. Um, the game attempts to model the Milky Way as closely as it can. And with that, I would really hope to visit Sagittarius A once. I would like to, I would really like to visit the center of the galaxy. I think that's got to be a goal that everyone at least has once. Visit the center. Um, but the game features 
thousands of different planetary systems to explore, fight in, trade in. Um, it has a dynamic, real economy that's based on actual players uh, doing actual things to some extent. I mean, of course, there is obviously a computer driven system for a lot of it, but um, you know, supply and demand does ebb and flow, prices ebb and flow based on player behavior. There's a lot of stuff that goes with it, but there's also it's it's largely it's an it's an MMO sandbox. I'll give it that. It's like an MMO sandbox that um, Hang on, I'm trying to line myself up here. Charlie, you have to actually you'd have to actually fly that 25,000 light years. I know. That's a goal. <laughs> it's a goal. It's uh everyone's got life goals, right? I I I'm aware. I'm in. I'm in. We're going to do it. We're going to fly fly 25,000 light years. Sound detected. That's okay. You guys can scan me. It's cool. No problem. Go for it. All right. Let me see. Where is the fighting happening? Are you scanning me? Because you're a pirate, right? Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're just like, hey, I want to know what you got. It looks like there might be some fighting over here. Oh, yeah. There we go. If we're gonna get uh, shields dropping here pretty soon, this guy's down. This guy's shields looks like it's getting close. Let's go ahead and engage here. Oh, he's got uh, strong hull or something. My lasers aren't doing much to this guy. I'm gonna start aggroing him in a second. Oh, turn. His shields are gonna come back. Come on, guys. Engage. That was a nice missile, actually. Good job. <laughs> I said engage. They did it. They don't have, uh... Here we go. Get all that chaff. Get all that chaff. Take him down. Come on. Take their... He's got a lot of... Isn't chaff a limited... It's a limited thing, right? Like, you can run out of it. How many How many times can he deploy it? When I was looking at it in the store, it, it looked like it only had two uses. That's his third time, so I'm feeling like maybe the rules don't apply to him. He might have two sets of it, I guess. Two different compartments for it. Don't shoot the cops. Nice missile. I like missiles. I saw them used in a video and I was like, I want missiles. But I don't know. I mean, lasers just feel like they're better because you don't have to. You don't have to refill the, the ammunition. You don't have to buy them. You know, the lasers are just, they're just power. The lasers look. I think the missiles look cool. I love the idea of just being like locked on target and away. What's up, Sonic dude? How you doing? Uh oh. Uh, 
I might be in the cop's way here in a second. I'm kind of feeling like a wanderer. I'm roaming around. I roam around. He's about to run into me. That was close. We'll start. There's enough cops here, I think, where I feel comfortable engaging. I mean, I should probably feel comfortable anyway. I've, I've upgraded my shields and everything, so. But, you know, the longer I can keep zero hull damage and not have to worry about that stuff, the longer I can stay out here and the more money I can make, you know? So. I think this is where... This is where having a couple of lasers that don't gimbal. Ooh, that's a huge bounty. Whoa, that guy was wanted for a whole lot of money. I mean, that that might be the biggest single bounty I've seen so far. My own, like, just on myself. That guy got me, like, I got, like, 700 grand for that guy, which I get it. There's probably lots of bounties around other places that are bigger, but I think that was probably the biggest one I've seen so far. I look forward to bigger ones later. <laughs> this is where having weapons that don't gimbal would be good, because I could just shoot through the chaff. I, I just manually aim it instead of having my weapons gimbal it. Oh, wait, what the heck? What the heck? Oh, I'm going backwards. Why? Wrong button. Wrong button. I blew it. Where is he? How come I can't? Thank you. Ah! Why? Game! Game, game, video game. I can't target him. Why not? He's un... There he is. <laughs> come on now. Ugh. Well, at least I got a little bit there. Like I'm staring right at him. Oh, he's gonna try to warp away. Let him have it, guys. Don't let him warp out. Shit, what am I doing? Don't let him warp out. He's so close. Zero. He's he's got he's at zero. He's good. He had to be very close to launching out of here, though. I can't wait to see his face when he runs into his first Xeno out in the black. I probably will die. <laughs> and it'll be glorious. I'll be like, oh, hey, that was really cool. I enjoyed that death. <laughs> Do you fear death? <laughs> All right. Are you guys going to open fire on this guy? He's clearly a bad dude. All right, look, this this guy right here, this Murden, Murden Idris. You guys are all right here scanning him. I know you're telling him to comply right now. And he's like, nah, I don't think I will, bro. I don't think there'll be any complying today. And he's like, okay, well, open fire, bye. why anyone would think they can take that many. Like, you're outnumbered and outgunned. Why, why would you... Why would you resist? I ain't going back to the... I ain't going back to prison, man. Alright, I'd rather die than go back there. Alright. Alright. You didn't have to get right up next to me, dude. Come on. Chaff. Can't target. Waiting. Waiting. Got him. Oh, 
waiting for the damn cops to get away from him. Got him. Cool. We're up to one and a half. One and a half. They got full shields. Nope, not anymore. He's getting melted. Absolutely does not have full shields. He's gone. He's done. There are so many cops here, dude. Anybody who who, who is wanted in this area is going to get melted. There's like 10 police here. I don't know why anyone would come here. They have the same radar I do. You can see that the law is here. Why, why come here? No. They picked a fight. Gonna get a couple shots in in case he deploys chaff and then dies. Come at me, bro. You're toast. Totally toast. So satisfying to watch them blow up. Engage silent running mode, which prevents you from being targeted. He engaged silent running mode. Okay, that's a thing. Okay, cool. Oh. I like hanging around the huge group of cops that are here though. Like, I don't know if it's worth going all the way over there. I think there's, yeah, there's still more fighting over here anyway. Oh yeah, look at the, the flock is coming in. Everybody's like, converge on target alpha. Name, Adam Ralph. Crime, having two first names. I think I got him first. Did I get him before he blew up? I did. Did you collect any other loot in addition to the bounty? So I was told that it wasn't worth it to do so right now. Um, I was also told that that stuff is used for engineering. So the, those two pieces of um, information seem to conflict with each other. I, I, I agree. Um, but I think what it came, comes down to is the time that it would take me to collect that stuff is better spent shooting someone else. Um, because I, 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 I can't... Um, I can't maneuver very well and engage and do all the things I want to do with my limpets out. And um, I've also removed the limpet controller now so that I could be a little more lighter. A, a little lighter and use that... I've used that space for uh, shields instead to make it even better for like you know not losing my bounty. Hopefully, he's in a federal assault ship. Isn't that that would make sense that that was also what the police would use, just by the name. That chaff again. Scan detected. I like how this pirate is scanning me, saying, Let's see what you're carrying. I'm like in the middle of like 12 law enforcement. Hmm. Let's see if I can, you know, do something with you. <laughs> Federal assault ships are actually pretty tough, aren't they? 
I don't want to aggro him. I'm trying not to aggro him. Not sure my wee little lasers are really doing much, but. Is that you? Scanning? Oh, that's this guy scanning me. Yeah, because this is a really good space to just go ahead and scan someone for piracy. Absolutely. I think he's about to engage me. No, I think he's about to blow up and die a glorious death. Oh! I am become the fireball. That was the biggest bounty I've ever seen. That one was huge. Oh, I might be able to get him. Oh, get, get, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in range. Quick. Got him. That was very close. Almost didn't have him. Oh, I got it. That's good. That works. Oh yeah, we're at 3 million now. That bounty was enormous. That was a million all by himself. Well, okay, enormous. I know. What a noob thing to say for a million dollar bounty, but here I am. <laughs> Where is this guy? Like, Radar says he's right in front of me, but he is not. I'm gonna tag up here. Tag him. Just to get a quick. No, nope, just to get a little bit of damage before he. There's so much fighting here. I love it. As long as I'm on the right side, don't shoot the cops. <laughs> Have I learned my. They should learn the lessons from their fellow criminal brethren. Do not shoot the cops. You're never going to use it. I mean, you waited way too long to try. It's already done. Like, he's out of range, but I've already hit him so many times. Yeah. That's pretty good. 3.3. How, how long have I been out here for this session? I'm trying to figure out how much money I'm making per minute with this and compare it to what it would be with the Road to Riches. I'd like to get a good comparison as to like doing this versus the road to riches, what would actually make more money? And I, I get that, you know, it's the same thing over and over again, but also I kind of feel like in this in this sense, if you're gonna do the same thing over and over again, combat is probably one of the more fun things to do over and over again. Cause it there is a little bit of a difference, and obviously I am definitely picking back into the cops here, but I would like to actually get a good example of how much money you can make per minute just doing this as a new player. Because I feel like it's a pretty good amount. Like, definitely more than $3 million an hour, you know? Which, you know, in the starter zone, new ship, new player, you know, got 10 hours logged. $3 million an hour is fantastic. Especially when your ship only costs like 50 grand. Like, I think I have 100 grand invested in this ship, so... And I really didn't even need to do it. The way this is working, I could have done all this in a Sidewinder. You really don't even need a new ship. All of this can happen in a Sidewinder. A free, free starter ship with no upgrades. You just have to be in an area where there's lots of cops. It does help to be a little bit more maneuverable, though. too far away. Hang on. I don't know if I want to go all the way over there or not. Side screen stores your overall bounty vouchers. The main is what you get from whatever your active target. 
Right, but it's not accurate. Like, I'm not going by the top right corner because it's not accurate. But generally, the, the higher the top right corner tells me, the higher it actually was. So, like, the one bounty that I got for 150,000, it was actually a million. I get a bounty that tells me I gain thirty-five thousand dollars. It's actually one hundred and twenty thousand. Like it, they're 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 not accurate. Which is why I keep checking this screen instead, because that's that that's accurate. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I think we'll take this guy. Maybe if it lets me, if it lets us, and then um, I'll cash in the bounty. Then I don't know. It might be worth doing it sooner. There's not as many cops here, and he looks like he's. There's like three pirates here and only one police. Police is outmatched here. This guy's got 37% hull integrity, though, and he's not part of a wing. I don't actually need the cop's help with this guy, I don't think. Might be getting too cocky and end up losing my $3 million, but... Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. Shields are going down soon here, right? Good. I think I can, like, actually kill this guy. My lasers aren't really doing anything to him. Doing almost no damage. Oh my god! I can't tur I can't maneuver like he can. How in the hell? can't maneuver like he can he's not he's not actually doing any damage to me though he's just getting his shields back now I wonder if he's even gonna shoot back at this point Come on. Come on. What is this, like, back-and-forth nonsense? How the hell do I get behind him? It's just like we're jousting. I'd really rather not joust. I'd rather not joust with somebody. This is not going to happen very fast. This back-and-forth nonsense. How in the world do I stop this madness? Ugh, I can't maneuver. I mean, I am taking his health down. It's just very slow. It's just back and forth. I don't like this. I don't like the back and forth. I want to get behind him. Maybe I just turn early? Here, let's just turn earlier. See if I can turn before he passes me and then get behind him somehow. Nope. He's too maneuverable. He's just able to turn so much quicker than I am. I don't know how he's able to do this so quickly. How how did how did he do this? How does he do this? Uh, 
turn around! Come on, you pig! This is much more challenging to do it yourself as opposed to, you know, what I was doing before. Jesus. Is this how combat normally is for you guys? You just joust with people like this? It's just the non-stop back and forth passing each other over and over again because you can't get behind each other? How, how does how do people do this? Like how do you how do you get this? Ugh, I hate this arrangement. Maybe I just go forward for a bit. Maybe maybe I just keep going and then and then he'll be behind me. <laughs> He bumped me. That's the only bit of damage he's done to me so far. But I actually did more damage to him because his shields are down. Jesus, what is going on here? My ship is much more maneuverable. Well, apparently mine is not. And it's incredibly challenging to actually get this guy down. Because I don't have a whole lot of time in front of him here. It probably would help if also if I had like power to my engines, but I'm trying to keep power on the shields because I feel like he's gonna hit me at some point here. Like, like he's already turned around heading towards me. God damn. Nineteen percent. Waiting for the cops to like see this happening and come in and just spoil my kill. Yeah, time for the cops to kill steal me. <laughs> That's what's happening right now. Guys, I got this. No, I can do it. You don't have to help me. Actually, you know what? Let's just speed this up. I'm losing profits right now. So let's just speed this up. Chop, chop. <laughs> to be fair, I started fighting him when he was at like under 40%. So. It's just taking forever because he's in a better ship than I'm in and he's a better pilot and all that nonsense. Wow. Really? He's running away. Once you figure out how to do combat in this method, it's not too hard. Okay. Teach me your ways, senpai. <laughs> Obviously better weapons, but you know, again, I'm, I haven't left the starter system yet, so I don't have access to this stuff. I feel like I'm gonna be a broken record to VOD viewers. It's like, why does he keep saying the same thing over and over? Because the same thing is said to me over and over. All right, we'll come back at four. I'll, I'll turn it in at four million. Unless I can't get to four million, in which case then we won't. All that work and bubkiss. He got away with like six percent hull integrity. He got away. And I didn't hear Oh, he, he just warped out too. I, I didn't hear any indicator whatsoever about, you know, frame shift drive was charging. Like, I, I didn't hear that at all. Not that it would have mattered. I was still hitting him as hard as I could, but still. Where is that fighting? No? He's back. Did he warp out and warp back in? What happened? It's the same guy. I think all the fighting is dissipated here, though. 
Which I suppose is fine. Do you think I have enough money now for... To get an ASP Explorer, plus upgrade the frame shift drive and power for it. Um, I guess I kind of want to... I kind of want to upgrade the scoop, too, I suppose. Probably worth it. Now there's two fights going on. Can't tell how far away they are. I think this one's closer. The lights are, are more shiny. My gosh, they're actually quite far away, aren't they? Come on. Get there. Get there. Get there. with target. Consider multi cannons from another station. We considered multi cannons from this station. Ultimately, ended up deciding on gimbaled weapons for now. But multi cannons are cool, I guess. It, the problem is just, you know, lack of. Whoa. Oh, I can't target him. There it goes. The problem for me is just lack of experience with combat would lead to a lot of wasted ammunition and then having to buy that ammunition. So I opted for the lasers because there's no ammunition to buy, and they have gimbling. Of course, you know, doesn't help me bust through the chaff. I could be shooting it right now with multi-cannon, I guess, but... He's down. Okay, I think we're over four. Here we are, indeed. But there's more here. If there wasn't more right here next to me, I would turn it in right now. But since it's right here on top of me, I'm going to go get it. Come on. Where are you at? Ah, just didn't get there in time. Too far away. He was already blowing up. He's already destroyed when I got here. All right, but at least we got a couple more targets here. Lasers are all over the place. It's a really effective defense tactic. Watch I aggro him with that single shot. This guy must have packed. This guy must have packed at least three sets of these chaps. He's deployed this thing so so many times so far. Again, more chaff again. Ah, not again. Not again. Come on, guys. He's trying to get away. Come on, guys. Come on. 
Hit him with the missiles! Three, two, one percent. No, he got his shield back at two percent. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, he got his stuff back. One percent, zero. Got him. Got him. Oh my god. <laughs> That was wild. And it was a really good bounty, too. He almost got away. He got shields back at 2%. Yeah, we're almost at 5 million now. I probably should turn this in before something bad happens, right? Is that a better idea? Probably. I think these two wanted guys are fighting each other, actually. Yeah, they're totally fighting each other. I might have some help from another from another pirate. Have some help from another dude. Looks like it. Two wanted guys back to back. Ram him. I almost did, but since he hit zero, I def I took it, went away. I will now assist because I don't want him to get away. Six, five, four, zero, done. Target destroyed. Yeah, so he's wanted, but he was shooting the other guy. Okay, I think we're done. <laughs> I think, I think we should. Disrupted by mass. Show you my mass. My children will go hungry tonight. Yep, I'm sure that's I'm sure that's what you're doing. Oh, hang on. I'm just I'm being baited. Hang on. Uh, we're not done here. We got more stuff. I mean, there's just more. Relatively risk-free more. Look at all this. It's chaos. It's like a war, it's a war zone. I mean, they should really call this a war zone. How are there this many pirates? How are there this many bad people in the galaxy? In the system. In, around this particular rock. This is a wing of three. going to do a quick tag. Quick tag on that guy too. done what's the other guy I tagged should be red uh, this guy might be a good one though yeah we'll tag him up too You're never gonna make it. Yeah, no, no frame shift for you. Uh, there should be one more guy I tagged up. Should be. There's 
it's not actively under attack, so... The fact that he's weak kind of doesn't matter. This guy's in a Sidewinder. Alright, I think it's probably... It's, it's probably time to go, right? I don't want anything bad to happen, like accidentally shooting the cops. I think it's... I think it's probably time to go. Yeah, I think it, I think I'm gonna go. 5.8, we're leaving. <laughs> this is the biggest single outing cash out I've had so far, so pretty. I'm pretty comfortable with leaving with that for now. This single trip. Still mass locked. Time to cash in. Yeah, I mean, like six million credits. A single outing, man. I, I basically just doubled my money. Yeah, I mean, this is all I have is six million. So we're going. We'll go back to the dock. Was that a clipper? Yeah. It was massive. It was why it was taking forever to go down. But I just happened to see it again at 14%, and then the cops were already shooting it, so it made sense to slow down. No, speed up. Just go around the planet. Come on now, autopilot. You'll be fine. Too close to this planet. I understand why mass lock exists. I just get annoyed by how, like how far away it affects you on some of these planets. But I get it. I understand. And there's probably a, a really good reason for it. You know, it probably prevents a lot of players from just warping into their demise. only a few kilometers i was way more than a few kilometers <laughs> away from that that gas giant way more I, I was a few thousand kilometers away from that gas giant but i suppose it's just like i don't know gas giants have really their atmosphere goes way out right way out beyond the color or something I get it. It's fine. It's all good. Gravity wells are a lot bigger than one might think. No, I believe it. I believe it. I, I'm. I'm not. Um, I'm not saying it shouldn't exist. I'm saying I'm annoyed that it exists. That doesn't mean I think it shouldn't exist. It's like seatbelt laws. You know. Although, no, that's, that one I think should still be a thing. Like, you should wear a seatbelt. But, you know, I can still, at some time in my life, be annoyed by the fact that I have to wear a seatbelt. Maybe. I don't know. Not me personally. Somebody else could. Bad example. Just forget I said anything. If you're a person that's really anti-seatbelt, then that might apply to you. Did you see my question from earlier? I was I was engaged into into combat, but I can look again. Is your turning from left to right faster than you're turning up and down? No. It's always better to roll and push up. Now I can catch up on chat for the things that I've missed. Is there a way to... I'm, I'm sure there is. There's a way to... Um... 
uh, hotkey request docking, right? I get, I should, I'm eventually probably just going to have voice attack, but there's a way to hotkey docking request, right? So I don't have to go through everything. Are you committed enough to get a joystick yet? Not yet. I'm actually not bothered by mouse and keyboard. Um, I'm sure the immersion experience would be better with a like a full-on HOTUS, but I'm not bothered by mouse and keyboard. You know, mouse input's pretty good, you know? I've made this mistake and lived to regret it, Char. Just constantly going saying, one more kill. One more kill, just one more. No. We're gonna turn it in. Not one more. Oops, wrong guy. Okay, we'll hit uh, right there. All right, 12 million. Is that good enough to leave the starter system, you think? 12 million? <laughs> One's like, why is he still around Drami? What is this? Has he even visited the other ones yet? Like, what is he doing? He doesn't even know how to play this game. Yeah, that's the second time I got hit and docked for uh, 44. Second time, yeah. I should probably hotkey the galaxy map. All right, so I think I want to go somewhere else now, right? How can you stream for four hours? I can stream for 24 hours if I have proper preparation. I'm not gonna, I didn't prep for that today. Hey, do me a favor, everybody who's watching right now, okay? My videos and my streams currently have on average a three to 5% view to like ratio. I'd love to bump that to 10%. So if I could have 10% of you hit the like button on the stream, that'd be amazing. I'd love to bump it to just 10%. One out of every 10 people that watch hit the like button, I will be in heaven. So go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. It's, it helps out a lot, thanks. When will you play Cartel Tycoon? I post a video almost every day. Um, I won't be posting one today, but number 12 is in fact ready. It's available for patrons and members right now. It'll post tomorrow. For the future, uh, go to Discord and you can look at the content plans channel. That tells you what, what I'm up to. I update it hourly. Okay, so I've been here. I've been here. I've never been here. Or there, or there, or there, or there, or any of these other starter systems. So my question is, is it worth visiting all these starter systems at all? Or should I just say, no, nah, screw it, get out? Like, is it? Is there anything in these that I should do before I leave? Because once I leave, I can't go back in them, right? All the ones with the orange, right? I'm not I'm not allowed back in any of these orange ones. Is that, um, is that how I understand it? Now, these little blue ones here, I believe I've got a whole bunch of quests. So if you take a look at this screen, no, this screen, I have a whole bunch of these missions to visit, you know, certain systems and I'll get paid a hundred thousand for visiting each one of these, but they're all, all of them are outside. So, I mean, I plan to do that because it's a hundred grand just to warp seems good. Um, I mean, I have to actually travel to their stations, but whatever. Um, but once I've got all that stuff, I'll have 13 million. And I think 13 is enough to get a pretty sweet, you know, ASPX uh, outfit, at least for now. That's enough to, to get that rocking and rolling. I, the only thing I'd be missing at that point would be a really good fuel scoop. I could still have one, but I'd, have, I'd be missing a really good one at that point, I think. That's probably it. Please leave. We'll pay you to do so. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. They're giving me money to leave. They're saying, get out. And then look at all these messages. 
If you leave, you can never come back. If you leave, you can never come If you leave, if you leave, if you leave, please leave. And you can never come back. Like, they're just constantly hitting me with the same message over and over and over again. Uh, you can find a station with better outfitting. That's what I'm looking to do. Yep. That's what I'm looking to do. So I'm about to leave the starter system now. That's what we're going to do. I'm done with combat for today. At least until I... Um, I'd like to start the road to riches right now, but combat's still pretty damn good. I mean, shit. I've earned, I've gotten 12 million credits with a little Cobra. I've gotten 12 million credits in two hours. I made 6 million an hour. Can't argue with that. <laughs> uh, it's actually, I, I actually started the stream today with five million so seven million three 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 almost four million an hour is what i made so far on combat which is pretty sweet yeah i noticed that too bluesy stream elements takes forever to, to actually put in the commands it sucks best advice decide on a goal and fly to where you need to go to do that goal Seems pretty straightforward. Good. Is this Horizons or Odyssey? Horizons. I probably won't be getting Odyssey for quite some time. Would you like a good station to build an ASPX, by the way? Sure. Yeah, where's, where's the best way I could go? I'd like to start that today, so we're definitely doing the ASPX. Um, somebody, call, somebody said the Diamondback. Um... I'd rather outfit one that's just flat better in every way and just skip up and... Yeah, I'd rather skip the diamond back if I can. I don't know about better in every way, but it has longer jump range and that's all I care about. Yeah, I know. I know it's YouTube's fault. I know it's YouTube's fault. It's 112 light years away. Okay, so we have to make a few jumps. Big deal. Yeah. You've unlocked your first engineer. Wait a minute! Okay, hold on. I don't know anything about engineering. How do I know? How do I tell this? How do I know this? Also, uh, I took a look at the uh, the ARCs store, right? For skins and all those other fancy things. And really what I'm interested in is the voice pack. I want Celeste. I'm sorry. I've heard all the voices. I want Celeste on my ship, okay? I gotta have her. Um, not as unreasonable as I thought it would be to buy this stuff. Um, it also looks like I'm earning it as I go. So that's kind of cool. You actually earn that stuff as you play, which is kind of nifty. You got a message in your comments panel saying, invitation from Todd McQuinn. If you're looking to upgrade your weaponry, then I can probably help. Let's be honest, who doesn't need a little extra firepower? Visit my base to learn how I can help you get the most from your weapons. I've uploaded a location marker to your map. Pod, are you in here? Pod? Yeah, I have to go all the way to the map then. Todd, where would he be? How do I tell where he would be? I mean, I'm assuming he's one of these blue ones. I'm assuming. The person who does that FSD is probably the one you want to focus on. Yeah, absolutely. Keep scrolling out. Oh no. He's far away then, huh? Ah! Is this him? Is this where Todd is? It says Edmund Mohan. 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 I don't know. Ex exploited. Is this it, though? It looks like a bookmark. Yeah, but the guy who does frameshift drives, I want to do that first. Let's 
Clock District, walk me through. Where am I going for uh, the ASP? I'm going to leave the system, I guess, now. So if, if I don't need any of these, the double check, I, I missed it. Um, I, I don't need to go any of the, any of the orange ones, right? I'm uh, no longer required. Is there anything in there that would ever, ever help me? Gertrund? Gertrund? Is that what it's called? That's not at all what I typed. Is that how you spelt it? Gertrund. Gertrund. Wait. It doesn't, it doesn't show anything. Is that not how you do this? No N. Oh, Gertrud. There's a, there's a, it's no N. I miss, I misread it. Okay. Okay. Not bad. I'll put, oh, Lee Young Rui. There it is. Yep. Lee Young Rui. All right. There you go. So to get there, I probably want to remove some of my weapons and heavy stuff so I could jump farther, right? Uh, or do I just keep my stuff as it is and just travel over there? Is this where the where I can get a good explorer here? Is this where you're 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 telling me to go here to get my explorer? Is that it? That's where Todd is. Okay, gotcha. First check, Felicity Farseer. Okay, I, I feel like we're. I feel like I'm being told many different things at once. I've bookmarked it though, so I, I got this. And I'm gonna edit this and say that this is, uh, I wanna go here from, can remove the weapons, okay. Uh, let's call this uh, the ASPX place for now. I don't know, I'll just name it that for now so I remember where it is. I do, I do see the bookmark though, yep. Okay. How to get the invite to FST FSD Gal. Felicity Farseer. Felicity Farseer. Say that name all day long. Felicity Farseer. Should I get her first? First check her. Is she here? She's not here. Where where is she? How do I check her? You need a plot route, not select. I know. I know. But there's a lot, there's enough people saying I need to talk to Felicity first. So how do I unlock Felicity? Also, I think I'm gonna, yeah, un, I think I'm gonna remove at least my second set of weapons. I'm gonna remove that. So I'm a little bit lighter. Remember, Charlie doesn't know how to access Farseer. Yes. Needs a rank of scout and exploration. So I won't be able to do it. Okay. So we'll, off we go. Clock, I'm with you. I'm narrowing my focus. We're going in. First, I'm gonna go ahead and remove. Eh. Eh. Should I just sell it instead? Somebody told me there's no reason to, to store it because I can buy it. I sell it for the same price I bought it for. Is that true? Kinda. It looks like it. 6,600 is what I paid for it. Might as well just sell them, I guess. I think the only reason to store them is if you had engineering on them, right? That's the kind of time. That's when you would wanna, that's when you would wanna store them because they've been engineered. Uh, I don't know. Should I leave these two just in case I get into trouble? Yeah. They are making me four tons heavier, though. Maybe not. I think I'll just sell them. Because these are medium hard points anyway, and these are small weapons. So if I get outside, I might have access to medium weapons anyway, and I can put those on here instead. Fine. I'll sell them. No weapons. We are defenseless. But we are also going to be able to 
warp a little bit faster. So it looks like we can go current. It says we can go 13.86 per jump. So basically anything 13 and below is in our range on our jump. Okay. Is there anything else I should take out to maybe help me here? I like the cargo racks don't weigh anything, so that's probably fine. The shield bank maybe could go. This extra shield bank. I think I could probably ditch this. I want to get myself to 14 at least, because there's you know there's going to be a system that's 14 away, and I just can't reach it. Um, We could probably get rid of the docking computer, but it doesn't weigh anything, so never mind. The shield generator? Should I ditch that too? To get there? It's 10 tons. I don't know. Yeah, basically what Bluesy said. If you're telling me to do things that I have no access to, can't get to yet, haven't gotten to yet, I'm just gonna flat ignore your, I'm just gonna flat ignore your comments. Like it's just, if you're just like, hey, you should get an anaconda. Obviously not that extreme, but you know what I mean? Like. If you're telling me to do things that I just have no no access to yet, it's not helpful. You know what I mean? It's like, try to be. If you're really experienced at this game, you should know what I have access to. So, like, try to keep it within what I have, basically. I run some of my ships shieldless. Okay, I'll ditch the shield generator then. That gives me 20 grand. And this is only this is one ton. I could probably ditch the shield bank too. And it's probably good. Um, does this mean I have no shields now? Shield strength zero. I, I probably should have some shield strength. Like just a little bit for docking purposes. I probably should have some. Yeah, I think I should probably bring that back. What is the, um... Should I get this one? It's only one ton. That's probably worth having. Just, it's, 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 that's worth having. I'm just gonna buy it, put it back in. Yeah, it's better. I'll just do that. So that gives me at least something, right? 2D is fine, yeah. No, we're not we're not worried about hauling cargo in this ship, Sonic. I'm just getting I'm getting to the point clock put me in on. I'm getting to the bookmark. That's it. So as long as I have over 14, and I do now, 14 and a half, so I, I can go for, I can go a little further now, and that makes me happier. So that's fine. That's all I wanted to do is get a little further. Alright, last call. Anything else I should buy at this Moss and Dock station before I head out? towards my destination where I'm gonna then outfit my Explorer and then I'll start my, uh, after I've outfitted the Explorer, I'll start my road to, my road to riches, which will take a while, but it's gonna be cool. We'll visit like, probably, I don't know, 30, 40 systems or something, so. Lots of exploring to do. Nope, onwards, okay. Rock and roll. Uh, let's go to the galaxy map. We'll go to our fancy bookmark and we will plot route to our bookmark. And then what we want to do is we want to use, where is it now? What's the, we want to use fastest, right? Because this is all over the place. Is this the fastest route? How do I, how do I plot it differently? Second tab route planning. Economical, oh, okay. Uh, fastest route, cool. But I wanna be, it says max 20,000 light years. What? Oh, I get it. I get it, okay. So this is what I want here then, right? And now I have less jumps. So I need all these jumps to get here. This seems good. 
Um, I don't have any cargo mass, so my jump range is like this, so everything seems fine. That's my course. Okay. Ready to rock? Ready to, uh, ready to rock then. Let's go. We're venturing. Adventure is out there. Get a happy meal before you leave. You'll get hungry. I should probably go up and get a protein bar. Probably should. Uh, hold on. There's no reason I would have unequipped my fuel scoop. There's no reason I would have done that. Better to double check. Better to double check. I, I was I was messing with things and reconfiguring and taking things off, putting it back on for combat and all that stuff. And I don't remember if I if I kept that. I, I gotta check. It's better to just, it's better to check. Uh, it's this one. Yep, it's still here. Okay, two E is what I want, right? Yeah, two E is the only it's the only two in here. So okay, better to check. All right. 100% what Clock said. Keep an eye on fuel. Absolutely. What I have the fuel scoop for. Although, to my understanding, I've never done... My first time outside the starter systems. Oh. Um, to my understanding, there's a... I can't scoop at every star. It's only a few. Or a few different types of stars. Um... And uh, I'm unsure if this is going to take that into consideration as I go. So um, perhaps there is a way for you know me to know which of these stars I can actually do that in. Is there a way for me to tell whether I'm going to be able to scoop on this? Are we? Are we fixing to step out of the wild galaxy? Into the wild galaxy? Uh, I am. Solo mode for now, but I am, yes. Um, so I know the I know the acronym is KGB Foam. What I don't know is how to tell what the stars are ahead of time. Like, it won't allow me to click this. You know, like I wanna go forward in my journey, right? With my route. Courses, sector, uh, like, so how do I, is it C? Is it the C there that tells me? Star types, K3, V, A, M, O. Huh? So I need to read this. Are the scoopable stars. I know KGB foam, I know that. What I don't know is how to tell, fourth tab, thank you. This is this is the specific information I was looking for, yes. Um, map, gotcha, all right, and then uh, click the drop down below star class. Click the drop down. I'm blind. Drop down below, below star class. Huh? You sure? Oh, not below star class. I need to click the drop down and select star class. Okay. I misread it. Click the drop down box, select star class. Yeah, I didn't didn't read that correctly. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then I want to basically deselect anything that's not one of those acronyms, right? So um, basically it would be just kind of do this, right? So these are the ones I can scoop on, right? K, G, B, F, O, A, M. Yeah. So again, I repeat, how can I tell? Okay, it looks like this one's scoopable. It's red. Does that mean it's scoopable? Yeah, this one's red. Okay, so it's a color thing. Red, I just have to zoom out a little bit to see it. Okay, so it looks like I can scoop at pretty much all of these stars. Pretty close anyway. Okay. 
Make sure to apply filter to route as selected. Oh. Ah, okay. So now it's only going to take me to star systems that are like this. Is that what I'm seeing? Because that makes me happy. I'm learning. All right, here we go. We're getting out of here. All right, good. Who knows? I might have enough fuel to get there anyway. You know? I might. Solid versus dotted lines. I'm aware of the solid versus dotted lines. Yep, I got gotcha. you. I know I never said I was aware of that, so it's good that you said it. But um, I'm aware of that, yeah. We're not going to be calling the fuel rats on day one, okay? We're not doing that. Fuel rat comes on and is like, wait a minute, you're... You're out of... Wait, you're out of fuel 100 light years away from the starter system? How? Like, you can't even... How did you even deplete your fuel that fast? <laughs> well, I mean... I'm me, after all. <laughs> all right. Now, I gotta do these, though. Should I do these first before we do this? Hold on, guys. Should I should I do these before I go out and do the Gertrude thing? Cause these are fairly close. You know? Like they're they're like one, possibly two jumps at most away. And these are every single one of these is a hundred thousand dollars. I could use that money to outfit the SP. I don't know. I think I should do these first. Not to figure out which ones they are, though. Which one's closest? Can I see that in the list, or do I have to go to the map for that? I have no shields. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have no shields at all. Ugh, I feel really nervous. So naked. Naked out here in the wild. All right. Good thing I'm in solo mode. Can't get ganked out by this starter station yeah do your quests first i think so all right i think we're gonna stop one of these first so i gotta figure out how to how to figure out which ones are closest so we are currently here we're over here and it looks like my routes take me to like this one it's all the blue ones right the blue ones are the ones with the quests. so i mean they're pretty close Maybe I'll start with this one. Yeah, because these ones are all kind of closer together, and this one's farther apart. And um, maybe we'll end with Nana Bozo, because it seems to be like more close to where my ultimate destination is. So I think I'll start with Burro Genera. <laughs> I'm going to be terrible at pronouncing these names. Whoa, wrong direction here. Hang on. Yeah, let's try this. Just find the system in this list. That's Nana Bozo. We want to do that last, I think. It's going to be the one at the top, or is it? Oh, right here. This one. We want to do this one. Yeah. So I think we'll plot a route to here instead. And it looks like it's, it's two jumps. And there's a star here, so I can practice scooping. I haven't had to scoop yet. So we're going to practice scooping. See how that goes. All right, good. Yep. All right, that's where we're that's where we're gonna go. Let's get ourselves oriented then. And we're mass locked. And we're not. All right, here we go. Starting our new adventure. As soon as I do this. Wait, you have to dock at a station, right? It's not just leaving the system. You have to dock at a station first. I assume I'll get a message that says all my license has been revoked. I'm assuming that the... Okay, so let me ask you this. When your... When your... When your pass has been revoked, when your license, when your... Whatever you call it, has been revoked. 
Are you not allowed to enter the systems anymore? Or is it just the stations? Is it just you can't dock at stations? I'm going to see what scooping's like here. Hang on. So I go near the... Ooh. I go near the star. That's how you scoop. So I'm gaining fuel right now. But I'm also gaining heat. Uh, getting too hot. Let's get away from the star. Let's get away from the star. Get away from the star. If I had a shield, would the heat be better there? Wait, if I had a shield, would it have been better to deal with that heat? You can't enter the systems at all. Okay. Gotcha. Well, we're going to be visiting the system and docking. I feel like I want a shield. <laughs> I don't I feel bare without a shield, man. How do you fly without a shield? It's so risky, isn't it? Shields don't take away heat. Also, you won't take heat damage until 100%. Okay. You can get the dumps, dumpers to get rid of heat. The heat sinks, yeah. I've read about those. I just haven't had a need for them yet, so I haven't bothered with it. But, yeah. All right. So, what we're looking at for this station... Or we're looking at for a, we're looking for a station. That's what we're looking for. Uh, it's Griffith Station, I believe. Right? It's the only station here, I think. Yeah, and it's also the blue one, so that pretty much locks it in. Okay. All right. So we're going here, Griffith Station. So the exploration part, th this type of thing where we're traveling and seeing new places, um, which won't necessarily be new for the game because I this data is useless. Um, but as we get further and further away, we can turn in nav data. Uh, so we can go to different star systems. I'm mostly talking about this for people who aren't playing the game, who are new, um, like me. Again, I, I say this to my understanding. We will be uh, going to these different systems. We're going to scan different planets, maybe even analyze their surface if they're worth it. And then we, we keep the data and that data then gets transported back to a place where we can sell the data for lots of money. Um, and the place is, if I'm understanding this correctly, basically any place that is more than 20 light years away from where we scanned it. If I, if I understand it right. Um, so the goal behind the Road to Riches run is that there is a, a set route that you take and we can scan everybody, but there's really only a few. Sometimes there's only one um, orbital body that actually matters in terms of getting money, the more economical, if you will, uh, for, for the time. I don't mind the time, so we could probably be really thorough. Um, and then once that run is done, it eventually works us into a loop. Um, and we, we, I think it's a loop. It might not be a loop, but it's, it, we basically end at a destination where we can turn in all the data and we make a lot of money. Imperial sovereignty. Uh, well, the docking bay would be on the other side of the station. Pretty sure. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let the auto do it so I can talk. Uh, ow! You really whipped me around there, didn't you? If you can hold a pattern around a star, your heat stays the same. It only builds up if you get closer. Yeah, I, I gotta practice. Yeah, we'll get there. So this, this is going to revoke my permit right here. This right here will be the end, I believe. I think they'll, they'll probably message me now. Because I'm pretty sure this is outside the, yeah, this is outside the Pilots Federation District or whatever. So they're going to totally message me here and 
I'll be told that I'm no longer welcome. No longer welcome in Noobville. We're now outside of Noobville. Here comes the message. There it is. <laughs> There's the message. The Pilots Federation wishes you luck on your new journey through the stars. As you have progressed beyond the requirements for access to the Pilots Federation space, your Pilots Federation district permit has been revoked. Any ships or modules currently located within the district must be transferred to a station of your choice at your request. Galaxy awaits. Fly safe, Commander. Okay. I'm going to put that up on my wall. Yeah. I'll fill up really quick with the fuel. And uh, let's go ahead and turn in the, the mission. We get 100 grand. And then we fly to the next one. And then we fly to the next one. And then we fly to the next one until we're all done with these missions. And then we go get the ASP. I like it. Okay. Sounds good. We'll have all sorts of money waiting for us. Good. Welcome to the wider, yeah, wider galaxy. Yeah, thank you. 100,000. There it is. Paying me to leave, I'll take it. All right, so there are three... Three factions, right? There's the... This is the Pilots Federation Administration. Fine. Um, but there's three factions, if I remember. There's the Allied Powers? Allies? Something like that? Um, Federation and Imperial? Are those the three? If I, am I reading that correctly? Remember, remembering that correctly? And they're all at, like, war with each other or something. Hey, there's some outfitting stuff here. Do they have anything better here? It is outside the starter district. Maybe there's something better here. Maybe we can get a new FSD here. Let us go with less jumps. It would be better, right? Let's go. In your right panel, set D scanner to a fire group. You can hold that down when you enter a new system and earn a small amount of cash. Oh. All right, cool. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to do that, too. Uh, psh, utility. Oh. Wait. I have this. Oh, the shield boost. How come I don't have any shields? I got shield boost here. And I've got the shield cell bank here. So I should have some shields, right? Shouldn't there be some? It's a zero, though. Lame. Oh, yeah. There are definitely more options here for a fuel scoop. Hang on. So instead of a 2E, instead of 2E, which is installed, we could now go get a 2A. <laughs> Did you leave anything in the starter system? Just my Sidewinder. Whatever. It was free anyway. And if I can't pay rebuy, I get another free one. So it doesn't matter. You don't have a shield generator. So the other things that I have are just to help the shield generator. But I don't have a shield generator. Great. Fuel scoop. Where is it? 2A fuel scoop. Should I get a bigger one? I can get a bigger one, right? Oops, wrong one. Uh, fuel scoop. No? Ah! It's a million dollars. How come I can't have it? I can. Oh, I just have to sell the one I have. Okay, hang on. Fuel scoop, sell. So 2E goes bye-bye. I want to see how, how much better it is. So this one will scoop at um, 0 0.03 tons per second. 0 0.03 tons per second. Okay, and then I go over here. I browse. 0 0.03 tons per second. If I was to get 3A, instead I would do 0.18 tons. That's a lot faster. That's a lot faster. It's a million dollars. I don't think I want to pay that. But, question. When I get my Explorer, I can pull this off this ship, 
store it by the Explorer and then put this on the Explorer, right? They're interchangeable, so I don't lose it. Also, if I sell this, I sell it for the same price I bought it for. Is that correct? The two part question. Shield boost passively makes generator produce more. F yes, you, it, all, the stuff I have makes the generator better. Provided, of course, I have a generator in the first place. Okay. Yes. Yes and yes. Okay. Fuel scoop. I'm buying you. We have it installed. Faster fuel scoop. Good. Should I take the opportunity to do anything else to my ship that might improve my jump range right now? Like, for example, a FSD drive. I think so. Is it core? Right now I have a 4D FSD. 4D. And I can get as much as a 3A, which doesn't help me. So 4D seems good. Best I can do. Just like. Uh huh. Okay. Whoops, wrong one. So I have. Uh, what about utilities? Is there anything in the utility slots? Oh, hello. Uh, pulse wave analyzer, point defense turret, chaffs, manifest scanners, kill warrant scanners. Hey, there it is. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Scanner that incorporates real-time communication with multiple law enforcement networks to confirm outstanding bounties. So if I did this one, that takes a lot of power. <whistles> yeah. What size fuel tank do you currently have? Good question. I'll find out. Is there anything in here I should get? Um, what's ECMS? Defense system to count. I don't need defense system right now, but I can look at it later. Okay. So, like, the kill warrant scanner, that's the thing I wanted for making more money, because if I was... Of all those pirates I killed, right? It says they're wanted. So that means that they're wanted by that system. And I'm killing them, I'm getting that bounty. But if there's a kill warrant scanner, and they're wanted in multiple systems, I can get the bounty for multiple systems, which makes it much better. That's how I understand it, anyway. Heat sinks, at least one. Heat sinks, at least one. Heat sink launcher. Module that transfers thermal energy into a disposable heat sink and ejects it. Immediately reduces the ship's temperature. All right, good. Put that on a fire group. Um, I probably don't need this then, unless of course I'm going to actually have a shield thingy. But um, yeah, what about power? That's not power. Power plant. Should I do something with a better power plant? I got 4D. No. 4D is fine. Lightweight alloys. Hey. I have a 1C lightweight alloy. If I do a 1A, that doesn't help me. None of these help me. Uh, wow. Lightweight. The better one doesn't make it lighter. It makes it heavier. So these ones are, oh, wait a minute, so I'm sorry. Um, these are different bulkheads. This is called lightweight alloys. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. Um, I have a 4D power plant, a 40 thrusters, a 4D frame shift drive, but a 3D power distributor. Is that good enough? So far it is. 4C is the best fuel tank I can have. Okay, so I think we're good. Right? I don't need anything else. I got the heat sink launcher. And, you know, just because I'm curious on what they might do. Uh, uh, torpedoes. That's good. Um... There. Okay, so you do have two. 2F. Two Gimbaled. Bigger guns. I know that will reduce my jump range, though, so I'm not going to do it yet, but... I just wanted to see. Charlie's a gamer. He doesn't need shields. <laughs> it's just because we're not going to fight right now. I'm done, right? I've gotten everything that I need. Frame shift is a priority. I, I have the best one I can get from this station, so. 
Um, if I could get a better one from this station, I would, but I think I'm good here. Quick tip, 3A power plant is lighter. More power and better on heat than a 4D. Right, don't have access to it, but we'll look at it, yeah. Okay, I think I'm good then. I think I'm good, okay. Uh, my, rebuy my, my, my rebuy cost is only 69,000. So like, whatevs, you know. Fire group reminder, let's, let's go ahead and do that too. Uh, la, 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 fire groups. Okay, so I want the D scanner on a fire group, you said. I'll put it on, excuse me? I'll put it on B, I guess. Do I need anything else? Data link, comp. Probably should put my heat sinks on A, I guess. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll switch these. Oh. Okay, what's the different? Oh, secondary fire. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Hey, what? Why don't we just leave one? No, I don't want to accidentally fire the heat sinks though. We'll put them both on two. That way, I don't. Because like, left click to me means shoot. For now, I think I'm just gonna play it like this because it's fine. Heat sinks should have a default V key. Oh, okay. Oh, speaking of heat sinks, then I that I only have the launcher. I have to actually buy the sinks, don't I? I they start with three in them. Okay. Well, it's good to be thinking about it anyway, though, right? We'll go to 100% integrity. My paint work needs work, I guess. Somebody scratched my paint. Probably when I ran into that guy. Right before he blew up. Because I shot him. Alright, let's go. Could still be attacked. I could. I could. But I probably won't. I probably won't. It'll be fine. Uh, so, let me go to the next location. We have to figure out where that is. I can do that while I'm being launched out. The next location on my list should probably be... Let's do... Uh... I'm going to do that one. What's 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 this one? I can't, I can't see it. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it this one here. I just want to see what that is. I really wish I could just click that and see. I guess I have to lower myself first. Fine. Let's do everything that you want to do. How in the world do I select this? Oh. Oh, the flag for it is... Just... No, that's not it. Wait, huh? Like, this one has a star. Easy to select. How come this one doesn't? Is it just really small or what? This is like a mystery one. System is filtered out. Oh, because it doesn't have the okay. Hang on. Let's let's do that first. Why is it filtered out? Oh, wait, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's because I did this. Turn these back on for a second. Okay, okay, thank you. Figured it out. Yeah, you. Okay, Zamina. So, uh, any, any, anacolidy. Anacolidy. That's where we're going. All right, fine. We're going there. What? Please note, we do not tolerate reckless flying with 
Did I hit something? I have 79 hull integrity now. <laughs> Should have had a shield. I didn't see anything. I guess I was speeding. That's why I was mass locked. I hope I do. 79% hull integrity. I'm gonna have to get repaired now. <laughs> I guess I hit something or someone. Did you deliver the mission? I did, yeah. Paint degrades while flying. Always fun to see how much it's worn after a long exploration trip. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. Okay. So... I should now go... I deploy hard points for that, right? Wait, hold on. So how do I... Ah. And then... Hang on. How do I know what... Okay. I don't know which one it's going to be. It looks like both of them are going to happen. It should be only on A. Let's remove all doubt. We'll, we'll say put the heat sinks on, on one instead. So I, I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Like that. And I just do that every time I'm in a system. Okay. Cool. Got a bigger scoop. I got it. It's fine. It's fine. We're just jumping anyway. And you don't need hard points to do that, huh? So they do the scanning thing. Drive charging. I did it correctly. Hopefully. That's what that's what that is called. It's called honking. Honk everywhere. It ta tags up over time. Okay. How do you like the game, Charlie? I've been thinking about getting it. So far, I'm digging it a lot. I'm, I'm really into it so far. Um, I can see how this would be... I can see how this would be a pretty... A pretty like, addicting sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Do you get money for honking? They say I do. I'm pretty sure I have to... Um, Have to return it to a station probably in order to get that, but yeah. Okay. Ah. Okay, fair enough. I heard it. So we're going to this one. Uh, if you're just joining us, you're wondering what we're doing. So there's two there's two goals right now. So I'm uh, I'm out of the starter systems now, so I can't go back. So the goal right now is to get basically the hundred thousand credits that the Pilot Federation District is going to pay me to explore the galaxy. They're basically paying me to leave the starter systems, and I went ahead and collected all of those. All, all, all of those hundred thousand ones. Um, I went ahead and collected all of those, at least all the ones I could get to anyway, although only the ones I saw anyway. Um, so now the goal. Well, I need to find the. Now the goal is to find the station. Uh, station. Is it you? It is you, right? 
No, travel to Bean Terminal. So not you. Bean Terminal. I don't see Bean Terminal in the list. Yeah, you. Root unavailable. Well, hang on. Why don't we just... Oh no, don't do that. Just do this. We'll plot... We'll just plot a course for this planet. Also says not available. Is it because of all this is being in the way? The, the belts in the way? Is that why? Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, come on. Go ahead. I have nothing on me, so have fun with that. <laughs> How do you make a living? <laughs> Bye. Jerk. You have it targeted. I have it targeted? Oh. Wait. Okay. I'm confused. Never mind. Carry on. No big deal. Frameshift drive charging. Ready to engage. Oh, I get it. The plot route only works when you're outside the system. Understood. That makes sense. So when I hit select, that made it the target. Got it. It's just weird that it wasn't in the list already. I thought that was a little weird. We're going to get the hang of this traveling thing. We're going to have a lot of exploration. So two parts, right, up to, the, to, the, to what we're doing today. And I probably won't be able to get, like, a whole lot of experience in the new, in the new ship. Um, but... The, um, the goal is to do all these, travel to these different systems that they're paying me to visit. And then once we're done with that, we're going to be heading to the station that Clock District told me about. Um, we're gonna be heading over there to buy an ASP Explorer. And then that ship is what we're gonna use to start the Road to Riches. Start on our road to riches of exploration road to riches. Did I honk here yet? I think I did. No problem in honking again, right? Just in case I didn't. So we, we started today with combat. And we made about 11 million. 10. 10 million dollars in combat today. Oh, come on. Whatever happened to auto, huh? Auto. I wasn't even thinking about it because auto was supposed to do it for me. Come on, auto. Where you at with that one, huh? Slacker. Come on. Come on. Maybe that's damaged. Maybe that's part of the damage in my equipment. We'll roleplay it and say that because I hit something, that part of my ship is busted. Okay.
I need to add that to a hotkey. Yeah, I need to add that to a hotkey. This is a cool looking station though. Actually, I would rather let, I'm gonna let the computer do it so that I can look at it. And also talk to you guys. We have more jumps to go. We have a lot of jumps. You know about the seven second roll? I do, but again, I have, I have the frame shift assist and it was active too. It was slowing me down and everything. It just didn't work that time. I don't know. So I was just letting it do its thing. It's pretty good usually so far. I don't have assist on. When did I disable it? How do I disable it? I don't even know how to disable it. How did I disable it? Uh... It's on. Totally on. It's got power anyway. It's active. Yeah. Totally on. Loop of shame still happens often, at least for you. Okay. Well, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't take any shame in the loop. I don't take any shame whatsoever. Oh, it's only 290 to repair me. That's fine. All right, we'll turn it in. And we get that done. Being paid to leave. Good. Uh, what do you think the chances are that there's something I could haul to the other system, to the next system? I don't have any shields. I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. There's a crew lounge here now too. Okay, that's it. Next system. Ah, uh, we should open the galaxy map and figure out where that is. That's that's too far away. So we want to go to. I think it might be best to head to. LHS 3802. Yeah, LHS 3802. Probably where we should go next. It's one jump away. Seems good, man. Okay. What's the seven second rule? When you get to seven seconds, you reduce your throttle to 75%. And it just guides you right in. I even have 75% hotkeyed on the keyboard. Uh, but, again, with uh, the assist on, I didn't think I needed it. I was just letting it do its thing. Because it's easier for me to let the auto do it so I can chat with you than it is for me to pilot it. I've already... I piloted everything yesterday, or last stream. So this stream, I'm okay with just letting it do its thing so I can engage with you guys. Nav panel, navigation, select target, enable super cross assist. Super cross assist? What? What's super cross? Like the dirt bikes? Scan detected. Scanning me again, huh? Scanning me again. See, I almost launched right into this guy. Don't want to do that. I'm speeding again, but I'm going in a straight line, so... This should be fine. Oh, now I'm going to get... There it is. Shift drive charging. Super cruise assist, right.
Did it not work? What happened? Did I get too close to the station again? Can we go now? Come on, chop, chop. Okay, apparently I went too close to the station again. I want some more practice on this. Just because I can. Want the station. White ring? Is that it? Not you. Not you. Not you. There. Yep. White ring. Okay. Select the second option, not the first. What option? First option is to target. Second is to target and super cruise assist. So I haven't had super cruise assist the entire time. Cause so I don't think I've ever done that. Maybe I've been just doing it myself the entire time and not knowing it. I didn't know I had to, I, th I thought it was always active. Like right now, is it on? Cause I, th I think it's on now, right? Like I'm pretty sure it's on now. And if it's not on, then this is how I've been doing it the whole time. So maybe I'm doing it right. Maybe I've been good this whole time. You've done it all manually. See, who needs super cruise assist? Seriously, now I want to know how much better it is with, with assist then. Apparently, I've been doing it manually the entire time, thinking I was being assisted. That's cool. That works for me. This right here is not assisted. This is this is completely manual right now, the whole time. I've been deceived. So I'm just naturally doing this really well. Okay. Hey, look, I'm a natural. Okay, fine. I, I would always notice it slowing down like this, and I would just assume that I'm doing it well, but... Oh. I guess it would, it would actually say it if it was active. Okay. Cool. Well, in that case, I have never used Super Cruise Assist ever. And I don't know what it's like, so I'll use it next time so I can see what it's like. And maybe it's so much better than I should just use it all the time. I always thought that that's what this was. Which side are you on? The ships are on this side, so I'm going to say the dock's probably on this side, too. I want to rechat. Uh, let's see, what does it say? There's this fantastic view view by New Africa in the Epsilon Indie system. No spoilers, please. I don't know anything about that, but okay. Again, it's, it's like these are things where that sounds fascinating. But I. I, I got a mission. I'm gonna I'm gonna point at it. 
maybe we'll put a pin in it mentally, but um, I'm not going to remember. Leave it in the Discord. Because I can reference that later. Let go of Charlie's bike. He started riding by himself. Yeah. As I said, Charlie's a gamer. That's you flying. Huh. So I've proven I can land. I've only bumped into that tower once. I've bumped into that tower once, and it was the second time I tried to I tried to dock myself. But I had shields, and I was only going three meters per second. Just just gave it a little just a little love tap and backed off. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we got a mission. We're gonna stick to it, and then I'm open to like going wherever. But let me finish these missions first and get my explorer ship so that I can jump better. Because my ship only jumps 14 light years. And the ship I'm trying to buy, once I properly outfit it, can go like 40. I'd like rather do that instead. Ah. Okay. There we go. All done. Why would I want to donate? I'm not donating. All right, next we have, how many left? Five? Five left. Oh, do I have to pay your, f while this fine remains unpaid, you have limited access to services at starports controlled by this faction. You can pay your fine with security office contact in any system where this faction has a presence. Alternatively, you can pay the fine with an interstellar factor contact at any location, albeit for a larger fee. Fine by Iota Pavanas Patrons Principles. That's a mouthful. So I, can I pay that here? It's not the system where I have the fine, though. Yeah, the Empire. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I'll pay the fine. Done. There. 100 credits. I paid it. You happy now? Okay. He's neutral. Okay. Okay, uh, next system. Let's go to Galaxy Map. So this one is not a bad one to go to. Um, we could start with this one. I think it's only one jump away. It's 18 light years away. Is there anything that's one jump 19 19 17 so everything is two jumps away anyway uh so why don't we start here that way i'm more likely to have one jump after this so we can start here at hr 806 and then that'll be my connector to here and then I can do from this point to this point is one jump, right? Yeah, that's got to be one jump. This one's probably one jump. And then I likely need two jumps to get to Nanabozo. Nanabozo is my last one. And then from there, we're off to see the wizard over here. So we'll be jumping a lot more after that. So. Slowdown alert is you being slowed down by the gravity of another object. Uh-huh. I thought it was slow down, you're gonna miss your stop. That's what I thought. Okay, so hold on. So you're telling me the assist. Wait, which one am I going which one am I going to? Which one am I going to? going to HR 806 HR 806 okay HR 806 which is not this one not this one this one HR 806 Frymount Gateway okay Frymount Gateway 
So I'm going to try the Super Cruise Assist this time and see what it's like. Because I hear everybody say it's so good and you should always use that instead. I, I don't hear everybody say that, but I hear people praise it. So it makes me think that I should, uh, you know, that I should do it. So see what it's like and then I can just be like, oh man, that's way better. Why didn't I do this before? Scan detected. I ain't got nothing on me, buddy. Oops. I want to go towards the station again. You silly Billy. Go away from the station. Before I get fined again. I don't want to get fined. I'm out of here. at multiple waypoints or one destination at a time you have your you have your direction that you're going your one waypoint that you're going but the plot the route that you choose will help you plot multiple jumps to that location which is what we're doing now so this is jumping me to a connecting system this system is not my destination if that makes sense but you can only have one one route, if you will, at a time. It's like your car GPS. I don't think you can... Does anyone have a car GPS where you can plot multiple routes at a time? I mean, I know you can, you know, pop in points along the way, that points of interest along the way. I know that part, but it's not really another destination, per se. Wow. Going to a high security system. Actually, maybe they already have the ASP Explorer. I never even bothered to look in the shipyards of these places. Ready to engage. Although, I'm being told the place I'm going is going to be able to get it cheaper. Four, bigger discount. Three, so, two, one, probably should wait since there's a discount. Is it? it? Doesn't seem critical. I think everything's gonna be okay. It's a very large star. Is this one I can do? RGB foam. This might be a yellow star, so maybe I can't do this one. Is there any way to tell? I guess I could just go closer to it. That would tell me. It looks like, yeah, it works. It works. Just so I don't have to buy the fuel later. Also, I need practice. That's why we're doing it. Just gonna practice controlling. How fast we go around the star. Scooping up all. All the scooping. All the scooping. Okay. Now I'm going to set destination. Two. Ah, this one. Align with target destination. Will do. I never chose that second option before. Huh. Okay. So it's just going to take over and do everything for me now? This is like a full on autopilot experience. Is that what this is? I don't need to do anything. I, I can just take my hands off the controls and it'll just pull me right into the station now. Is that the idea? Maybe that is better. Bluesy, I see you, so I think your internet's working. Don't forget to set your routing to KGB foam again before leaving. Yes, I, I got you. Thank you for saying that. Um, I probably would have forgotten, so thank you for saying that. Oh, hang on, I got a text from my wife. Wait, 
What? Told Aiden not to go digging in the dirt. He did it anyways. He's not smart enough to put the dirt in a container so that it can be easily picked, put back in the hole he dug. Instead, he thought it was a good idea to throw it, throw in a pit next to it. So now he gets to undo what he did since he thinks it's so fun to play in dirt. I'm so mad. Kiddo, she's eight months pregnant. You can't be making her mad. This is not a smart thing. I mean, you're going to learn, I guess, maybe eventually here, but, uh, whew. Don't learn the hard way, buddy. Just listen to what she says. Char, I would suggest going here in game. Oh, you left it in the VIP. Yeah, there's a there's an elite dangerous channel specifically for that. But thank you for that. We're going there though. That's that's where we're going. I think that was probably a while ago, so you probably know by now. I just happened to open Discord. Everything except requesting docking is docking request. Something I can put on the controls. Like, is there a hotkey for docking request? Hmm. That's lame. There's no way to do it. Well, that's just lame. I feel like I get there faster by myself. Probably because this one's really far away. I need to compare it. I need to compare this like trip to trip instead of being like, it took forever to get to that one. <laughs> it's probably really far away. I've been here the whole time. Glad you saw the tip. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna, like, I, I don't know. The, the place we're going eventually is, is that faction, so. Um, yeah, hopefully they have discounts. Am I, do, I don't need to be aligned with them or anything, do I? Like, be in, good, be in a good relationship with them already or anything? Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to do that in time. Look at Super Cruise, just doing whatever it needs to do. I could just get my... Contacts ready to rock, can't I? Get the discount no matter what. Okay, cool. Death in my condo with 100 million in bounty vouchers. I just can't imagine being out in space, still fighting, going bounty hunting and having 100 million no, I would be going to a station right away. <laughs> I think I would probably go to the station if I had 10 million, but that's just because I don't have a lot of money. We don't have a lot of money. A small amount of money makes a big difference. So if you're over there with like, you know, 5 billion credits, 100 million doesn't seem like a lot to you. I guess that makes sense. To me, that's like, you know, that's my, it's like five of my pythons that I want. <laughs> Maybe not that much. I forgot how much a python is. Ooh, fancy ship. Oh, I like this place. Delay eight, Charlie. Hotel Alpha. This is Federal Flight Control. Submit to random security scans on your approach. Submit to random security scan on my approach. Okay. That looks like a cool station, to be honest. I'm, I'm digging that. It's a good look. Access 
I just want to look at it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to mess with it. Jeez, you're speeding. Look at this auto. The auto dock just freaking boosted into position. You're going to hurt somebody, auto dock. I do like the whole... I do like the music, though. Very good tribute. I like it. Detected. Try spending 10 minutes trying to land before thinking your gear down might be a good idea. <laughs> Will the game let you land without landing gear on, down? Like, can you just pop your ship down at zero and just sit on the ground? Maybe just continuously take hull damage. Maybe that's what happens. You notice that when ATC speaks to you, they say ship manufacturer Charlie Hotel Alpha. No, I didn't know that. Why are they saying Charlie Hotel Alpha to me? Is it because my name is Charlie? And that's the first three letters of my name. So really, they're saying my name every time. Because that's pretty cool, I guess. Maybe I should name myself Charlie Hotel Alpha, and that way CHA will always be said. It'll say my full name. Oh, what am I doing? No, oh, I don't want to do this. Mission board. Done. Incoming mission critical message. I doubt it's very mission critical. It's probably just telling me that I did a good job. Uh, yeah, my stuff has been revoked. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. It's fine. Uh, I think it's just comp confirming that the delivery has been made. It's fine. Yeah. All right, because I did I did receive all of these missions while I was still in the in there, so that makes sense. Uh, okay, so Nana Bozo is the last one I want to do. So the next one on the list to do is probably well i think it makes sense to do verandi but i'm not sure i can get here in one jump from there to there in one jump but i'm pretty sure i can get from here to there in one jump so if i'm able to get from here to there in one jump then i can probably go like this and it'd be if it's all one jump each time Verandi is seven light years away. I think this one's too far. 17 and a half. Just out of my range, darn it. But if I went to this one first and then this one, I could do each of these in one jump a piece. But I still need two jumps to get to this one. Maybe even three. Seems like a long way is actually for this one to this one. For my ship anyway so i'm thinking about just taking the two jumps from here to here and then from here to here should be one and then from there to there i th think would be one i guess i really don't know it's critical that we yonk your permit yeah exactly in case you missed the memo we just revoked your permit for the fifth time <laughs> exactly um tell you what i'm gonna take a quick bathroom break i think we're gonna go to mama reagan next mama reagan is our next destination i think yeah the wolf platform i think that's that's where we're going here next and to get there we'd need two jumps but i think we can get the verandi here and one jump from there, and I'm hoping that that's also one jump away from here, but I don't really know. 
Maybe I should just do the first one. Maybe I should just do this instead, because it's a really quick jump, and then I can do one jump down here. It's probably all the same. It's, it's, it really doesn't matter, does it? I think it's all the same. I'm going to use the, um, the bathroom really quick. Yeah, I have a fuel scoop. That's why it doesn't matter. I'm going to use the bathroom really quick. Just let me give you guys some music and um, take a quick break. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. I'll be I'm trying to mark a, a, a marker on the stream, but it... Um, the button doesn't work. There it goes. Okay. I'll be I'll be right back. Just give me give me like uh, I don't know, three minutes or so. Three, five minutes. Something like that. professional I'm very professional okay you guys didn't see anything none of this matters right here that's it okay this is the only thing that matters there you go
guys uh get yourself limbered up hmm? hope you stretched out hmm i know i did <sighs> make sure you like the video people hey that's that's a nice reminder thanks it's a nice reminder that's really good. Clock District, thank you for joining the Hat Hut. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate your help, too. I'm glad to see... I'm glad to see a warm reception to Elite Dangerous, because... This has been something that's been on, like, the back of my mind radar for years. And it's just been, like, one of those things where... I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got my niche now. You know? This, these are the things I'm good with. These are the things that work for me. I don't know if I should venture forth into that unknown. And then I said to myself, it's not an unknown if you get to know it. Uh, when's the next hat level? Uh, you mean for the badge? Uh, there is a new member Two month, three month, six month, one year, two year, and three year. So, assuming you are on a year, I think that's what that color is, is a year. So, you'd get the next one at the two year mark, uh, which would be the purple one. No, yours has the, uh, the black band on it. Yeah, the black. I think the black man is a six month. Oh, Swinger Bob. Hey. Wow. Coming in on the hat layer for eight months. Cool, man. Thanks so much. That's that's really crazy. The, the layer is ridiculous. Thank you, man. It means a lot to me. Super nice. Um, we did we did just get another emote. I think I get another one in. Uh, I got some food too. Protein bars are good. Yeah. Blue and black is. Blue with the black band is a uh, six month batch. Mm -hmm. So yeah, on the one year mark, you get another one, a different one. And then at that point, it's every year. I have no idea what I would do for a four year. A four year badge. I'd love to, I'd love to provide one, but. Let's get out of here so I don't run into anybody. No longer mass locked. Making ourselves a wide turn. And getting ready to jump. Verundi. We'll jump here next. over. Thank you for joining the Hat Hut. I appreciate that.
Okay, let's find the... Find the station I need. Wow, there's something... A lot, a lot of stuff here, man. I don't think it's Panshin Hub, is it? Yeah, I need to figure out... Make sure I'm not heading straight for the star. Okay. What's the... What's the quest? Wolf platform. No, that's not where I'm... That's, we, didn't, we didn't go here. That's why I'm confused. We went here. We, we changed the system and I never looked at the thing. So I need to go to the Vardaman Gateway. This one. Okay, cool. Please link your YouTube to Discord under settings and connections. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? I moved the mouse. That's what it was. So you veteran players, what do you guys, what do you guys spend most of your time doing now? Like in game. I mean, what do you do when money is no object? You know, you have all the ships and stuff. Looks like the station is on the opposite side of this. There we go. Exploration and trade. Trade for money and explore. Explore is probably it then. I mean, if, if you already have like six billion, what do you need? What do you need money for? Take an unengineered sidewinder to Sag A. Okay. So at that point, you just do whatever the hell. <laughs> do something for fun. Make other people rich. Oh, cool. That's. I think that's where I would be. That's where I would go with like the whole fuel rat thing. Right? Like if I had everything I need, I got nothing else left to do. I think that's what I would be. I'd be like looking forward to being a fuel rat all the time, you know? I haven't been in the bubble in over a year, over a year real time. Oh, wow. You're just living on the edge then, huh? You're just living way out. I have never been out of the bubble, but I will. I will venture out of my bubble very soon. Yeah, screw it. I'm being spoiled and I like it, so I'm gonna let the ship do it. I like chatting with you and I can't I can't chat with you and look at that tiny little mail slot at the same time. Femi hasn't been in the bubble in over a year. So you're just a scoop and pro then. Do any of you guys have um those big capital ship things? Like, any of you guys have one of the giant frigates? I hear they, they're they really only good to be money sinks. It's not like No Man's Sky where they're like essential. In this game, I hear they're just, they're just giant money, money pits. I have a fleet carrier, Yerp. 
What is it like, AJ, to be on top of the galaxy? <laughs> those giant, those giant ships that just cost like six billion dollars or whatever. Five billion for a carrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, ha I like having all my ships on it. So do you travel around the galaxy with your carrier now? Does that have a jump range? Is it... Is it like No Man's Sky where you can jump with, with that too and it, it jumps further than the smaller ships do and that kind of thing? Or like, how does it compare to like, say the fleet carrier jumps versus like jump distance versus, you know, like an Anaconda's jump distance? 500 light years? Wow. 500 light years every 20 minutes. Okay. So I think you could probably still travel faster with a single anaconda then. Can't you can engineer and outfit an anaconda to have like 80 light years, right? Something like that. Something pretty high. Is your crate phantom? Okay. 65 on your crate phantom. But you said every every 20 minutes, so you have to... Uh, Incoming mission critical message. I sold my fleet carrier because of the expense. So what what is the expense? Does it is it the same for every fleet carrier or does it depend on like... Does it depend on what you're holding there? And then does it charge you that real time? Or does it charge you that play time? Like if you if you do a fleet carrier and you decide not to play for a month, do you come back with noticeably less money? <laughs> so, spending seven billion to deliver wine to the ass crack of the galaxy. <laughs> Sounds like a dream scenario. <laughs> to deliver wine. I did a few of those delivery missions in the, you know, the starter system stuff, and uh, I wasn't impressed. <laughs> All right, so it looks to me like, wait, did I not turn this in yet? I turned it in, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Do I have another mission here? I should only have two left. But there's three here. Oh, going to Pansion Hub is another 100,000. Oh. Shit, I'm getting paid 200 grand to be in this system. Let's go. <laughs> nice. I got paid double to be here. I'm all about it. Let's go. So it depends on the outfitting. I'm thinking about getting one because my two sons are playing ED now, ED2 now. So what kinds of services can you put on a fleet carrier? Fleet carriers charge you a few million per week, 100,000 per jump, and the fuel is 50,000 per ton. It's next to nothing compared to the cost of a fleet carrier. Wait, what's next to nothing? Oh, I see. You mean like jumping around in an anaconda instead? Is that is that what you mean? Or am I way behind on chat now? The crate's better for traveling. What is it called? Uh, Imperial Cruiser? What's the most expensive ship in the game right now? Aside from the fleet carrier. Like, what's the most expensive ship in the game? Also, I need to turn around because, no, I need to actually set my destination. Ready 
This music really matches. It's like really matching the intensity of my jump. What's your credit balance now? It should be over 12 million now. Oh, the Imperial Cutter. That's what it is. Can that jump? Is that the ship that can jump the furthest? Like the longest range if you're going to explore something? Um, that did not at all stop. That did not at all stop. <laughs> I was thinking we were on auto again. What happened? No, I just, you know, casually whip by it at the speed of light. No big deal. <laughs> That's why we always aim high. That's why we always aim high. Could have swore we were on super cruise assist again. <laughs> this is me looking at chat. <laughs> I'm blaming. I'm placing blame again. The heck is it? The heck? Oh my god, there's a huge list of stuff in this system. Aligned with target destination. I thought for sure you were active. Why did I not confirm this? <gasps> oh well. If I knew it wasn't active, I would just do it like I've been doing it the entire time, but... I'm starting to just rely on technology. <laughs> you weren't. I guess not. No. Oh, the jump range blows on the cutter. Richest man by Inara has over a trillion, more like one and a half now. Some people keep making money for fun. Yeah, I guess so. Why does it say Charlie Hotel Alpha? I wouldn't normally be confused by that, but... Somebody um, brought it up, and now I'm curious as to why I'm CHA. I just figured again. I figured it was the first three letters of my name, and that's what they're calling it. But I'm wondering if it's something else. What's my commander name? My name is Charlie. P what? It's your ship ID. My ship ID is CP001. That does not. That does not a Hotel Alpha make. I mean, it's cool that they're, you know, saying my name every time, but I'm trying to figure out where the Hotel Alpha is coming from. Going 98 miles an hour. Meters per second. First three letters of commander name. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. First three letters of my name. Yeah. For you, it's Charlie Lima Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put a C in there and then I'll always say Charlie. Now I need to change my commander name. Oh, wait. 
not allowed to do that. Oh well. Can you actually get a second account? You have to buy the game again to get a second account. I have one on Steam and one on Epic. Oh, it's Epic, right? Yeah, yeah. I have, I have a, you know, gamer tag, creator content creator tag with Epic. I could have put that in the. I could have put an Epic Store link to this game in the description. I just never bothered to. I'm not going to anymore. It's all cross-platform though, right? People who are playing on Epic can play with people from Steam and. People who are playing on Xbox can play with people on Steam. Probably all. Let me go ahead and see what they have at Pansion Hub. Maybe they have a better drive. Maybe it's worth buying another drive. They say ship producer plus three letters of ship's name as shown if set. If not, maybe commanders then. Well, the ship. Oh, if set. Oh, right. My ship doesn't have a name. I bought a new ship. This isn't CP001. That was the Sidewinder. This should be CP002. But I'd never named it. Now I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure I care. Uh, I wanted to see whether this thing has any better options in this place. Okay, they do have a, they have a 4A. They have a 4A and that would, that would increase my range to 25 light years, which will be much better for getting to the other one, which is pretty good. So I think, I think we take this. 1.6 million. I think we trade in our old one for a new one. Done. Done. Should we use, should we trade in the thrusters too? They have four A thrusters as well. I don't know if that's worth it. That's probably not worth it though. When I'm fighting and stuff, it might be worth it. What about power? These guys have some stuff on them. I wonder if we can get better power. No, still 4D only. How about uh, sensors? Better sensors? 3A sensors, that's better than I got. I'll increase my sensors because they'll give me a better range. 4.8 kilometers to now 6.4 kilometers. I like it. Upgrade the sensors. Um, what about my fuel tank? Nope, can't do anything more with that. Life support's probably fine at 3D. Yeah, no, no 4A power plant. All right, cool, good. Seems good. Now we got a, now we got higher jump. 4A, seems great, man. Now we can get where we're gonna go with a lot less jumps. Because remember when we left? When we left the Drami system, it was barely 14 light years. So we had like, I think it was something like 18 jumps to where we need to go. With 25 and a half light years, it should be a lot less jumps, I think. Okay, cool. Uh, next. So not Nana Bozo, we're going, the final one is that wolf platform. I think it's up here. No, it's, it's obviously the one that it zoomed into all the way. Yeah, yeah, this one. That's the next place we're going. Hi, Jay. Uh, are you using an aura? I have no idea what that even is. 
I got 15 hours in this game and I'm still learning a whole bunch. Welcome to the stream. Still learning a whole bunch. If you're just joining us, hi. I'm a variety content creator that does a whole lot of games and Elite Dangerous is very new for me. Um, but I'm enjoying it greatly. In case you're also wondering, because I get this sometimes, um, I'm using auto dock, auto launch, auto anything I can because it makes it way easier to interact with you that I don't have to pay attention. But up until yesterday, or not yesterday, but the first live stream, which is still available to watch if you're if you're into six hours of awesomeness, noobish awesomeness. Um, that first stream, I didn't even know how to do auto super cruise. And I was doing everything manually anyway, and I was nailing it like a boss. Even up to, even up to like, what, an hour ago, I still didn't know how, I thought Super Cruise was on already. I was just being, I was just being good at it, I guess. Um, and then, uh, let's just get out of here. Get away from the station. Uh, and then I uninstalled the auto dock completely because I was I we wanted cargo space instead at the time Silly me you don't need cargo space Fighting fighting is way more profitable in the early game Landed on a planet yet. Yep. Yep. Um, I didn't do it on stream, but I have done it I didn't do it on stream, but I did do one of the delivery contacts that wanted me to land on a planet. So there was a station on the surface, and um, yeah, the whole it takes longer to land there. Definitely a lot longer, but I got it. Okie dokie. Let's see where my destination is. Wolf platform right there. All right, I definitely clicked the Super Cruise Assist this time. So if it doesn't activate, it ain't my fault. I clicked it. Okay, it's on. Now we need to pay attention because it likes to turn itself off, apparently. Fifteen hours, okay. <laughs> Keep the website in memory banks. For oh, Inara, the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I'm learning quite quickly that this game really depend is really dependent on third-party information. Like, it doesn't really tell you a lot in-game, so I got that. I got EDDB, and I don't have Inara. Um, I didn't know about that. Somebody told me about um, Coriolis, I think is what it was. So we looked at that before. Um, I know about ED Tools. That's what I'm gonna use to get my road to riches going. But yeah, I'm picking it up. It, it's maybe not fast, but I, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm picking it up at a pretty good pace. Commander's toolbox is essential. My gosh, commanders, you're still in, you're still in the mode, right? Don't you hop out on me. I almost went, almost face planted into a planet at light speed earlier because the stupid thing did, kicked off and I didn't know it. Um, commander's toolbox. Commander's toolbox. Okay, I've got that in my history now too. I've got that. I'm gonna have this 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 bookmarks folder that's just got all these extra sites for ED on it. Elite Dangerous. Not to be confused with erectile dysfunction, because I definitely don't need tabs of information on that. Definitely, definitely not. When you need to know how to unlock stuff the fastest, okay. And then Inara, you said it. I didn't. I didn't even punch that in yet. Inara. Uh, Inara's elite dangerous companion. 
Oh, that site's just... It's all sorts of words on that site. I got that. Uh, I got that in the browser too, though. I got it in there. Thank you. My big, the biggest pleasure compared to the other MMOs is the community in ED. Is it? Is it good? So far, it seems like people are mostly helpful. But you still have people that want to gank you, right? You still have a whole bunch of people that just like piracy. Anybody engage in piracy? You can admit it if you want to. I'm not going to know your gamer tag. Anybody just scour around looking for things? Remember to open the second ED folder, not the first ED folder. <laughs> right? <laughs> there are ganks, but even then, lead me to new friendly commanders in the game. Can you hear other players in this game? Piracy is a legit occupation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You do know that you can get to your location exponentially faster if you go full throttle to your location and enable SCA. Or, like, I'm... It's on the screen. What are you talking about? It's right here. I'm fine with it. It's open right now. I'm talking to people. I know things. I know these things. We're fine. I already told you I know about the seven second rule. ED community really is one of the best I've found. They always have these people, though. Yeah, I, you can't avoid human nature, but I, so far it seems pretty good. So far it seems like, like the number of people that I've been able to meet and talk to that I haven't met before or haven't talked to in a while. That would be, um, yeah, I like that. It's good. Read the entire message. You're telling me things I already know. You're telling me things I already know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna micromanage it, and it's not that exponentially faster. It's fine. Like it's 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 good to be okay. If I don't get there, if I reach my destination in five minutes instead of four minutes and thirty seconds, I'm okay with that. It's fine. Player's name will always start with CMDR, and will be hollow squares in the radar. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, is there a way to tell if someone's a player or NPC? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nobody else's name in the game starts with CMDR. <laughs> Triggered. I know, man. I spend my entire day. Here, here's, here's a good here's the thing, alright? If you guys if you guys haven't done this before, alright, as a as a content creator, okay? Here, here's the thing. Content creators, there's another name for us. You wanna know what the other name for us is? It's not influencer. Ugh, hate that name. It's not influencer. No. There's another name, right? The name is Pinata. We're Pinatas. Because we get beaten down all the time and we're still expected to give you candy. <laughs> uh, and we take it. Some of us better than others. I think I take it pretty well, but I also have a little sassy side to me. I like to respond. <laughs> Fly your way, because our way is wrong. Your way isn't wrong. Your way is probably better than mine. But look at the conversations I can have while this thing just does whatever it does. I don't have to. I don't have to think about smashing into a planet at light speed. <laughs> Hopefully. Charlie's using SCA as it is. Let him play. I mean, up until an hour and a half ago, I wasn't even using it at all. So now that I'm using it, I'm being told I'm doing it wrong. Damn it. 
I should just not use it anymore. Just gotta go back to manual. Nobody can criticize you if you're manual. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I know you're... I, we're all in jest here. Inara's brilliant for trading. So it probably tells you, what, the buy and sell price everywhere in real time. I think the... Don't the prices up... They're spiting here? Okay, there's no fighting, but there's hard points deployed. Is that by the station or by ships? It looks like it's by ships. There was a there was a couple ships with their hard points out. That was weird. They're just patrolling? Okay. But they're yellow. Like they're not police. No, no, they're not they're not cops. They're yellow. Unless Oh, maybe okay, maybe they only turn green. Do they only turn green after I identify them as cops? Is that how that works? Cause I, I always notice that cops are always green. But I think I have to like Yeah, okay, I see. System authority vessel. Gotcha. Unknown to you right now. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. So what makes them turn green on the radar then? Is it just scanning them that does that? Faction you're neutral with. Oh, so if I'm friends, then they'll turn green? I know you're just throwing out an idea. Me too. Cheating is fine as long as it's not PvP. How does one cheat with PvP? Also, wouldn't any form of cheating in this game indirectly be cheating with, it, with PvP? I mean, if you think about it, if I cheat and get an advantage and that allows me to get free stuff, in open play, I mean, that gave me an advantage that ultimately resulted in your demise. Hmm. Corporate strike against United First Century. Ooh. These guys are going to pay almost $200,000 for that. They want me to do some corporate warfare, I guess. Okay, well, now that I have uh, increased... Now that I have a, um, a better frame shift drive, I can go to Nana Bozo in one jump, I guess. Pretty sure I can go there in one jump now. Yeah, 17 light years. I would have, I would have, I was gonna have to connect with two jumps. Now this is one. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Not that it matters, cause we have a scope. And also like I have full tank, so it doesn't matter. But it's, one last thing to do. I don't know. That'll be, that'll be nice. But later on, when we head outwards to go get our ASP at that system, that's when it will matter. That's when having a scoop will matter. Charlie, sorry I'm late to the stream. Nah. You're fine, Samoka. You're fine. We haven't been doing much anyway. No, but if you are just joining us, hi. Um, the goal is we're visiting one more system. We just left the starter systems today, so we're very new. Um, just left the starter systems today, and they gave me a whole bunch of quests. And they said, "Go forth, go out here, and go to these places, and we'll pay you a hundred thousand credits to go there." And so I collected like nine of those, and so we're going to all of those at the moment. But then when we're done, when we finally reach Nanabozo. That's our last system in that little chain. We're then gonna go way further out um, to, I believe they called it uh, Liang Roy uh, controlled area. Maybe I said that wrong. Um, and anyway, um, apparently they have discounts on ships and I would like to get an ASP Explorer so that I can start exploring a lot more. And um, I really wanna see different systems and 
I, I just fa I want that a lot. That's that's what I want. I mean, c combat's been cool. The overwhelming majority of all of my money has been earned in combat. Um, and um, I want to do something else that's not combat related necessarily. And so I'm just going to make sure really quick that I... I'm going to make sure I honk here. All right. What? My heart points are not out. You lie. You lie. Oh, they are because I because I because I honked. So I can honk while I'm in super cruise. But if I honk while I'm not in super cruise, then I can't enter super cruise until I put my hard point away. That's a little weird. So do I need the hard points to? Do I even need the hard points out at all? At that point, I don't know. Tell me to slow down. You slow down. Cobra was my first love. Married an ASPX who turned into a beluga. If I didn't know the context of that sentence, I would say you uh, maybe went a little backwards there. Started with a cobra, maybe some snake-like hips. Ended with a beluga. Hey, to each his own. It's fine. I didn't know the context. Just gonna get some more practice. There we go. This is the last system until this is begins to be required. So, I want to make sure I'm good at this. Seems like we're doing pretty well filling that up. That does happen pretty quickly. Yeah. It happens pretty quickly. I like it. All right. Let's uh, get our get our territory marked here real quick. Wow. Where is it? Hi. Back. The other direction. Honk. Install cabin and pick one man for long range. We'll pay a couple of tens of mils. Very long journey there and back. I, I plan to do Rubigo instead. I plan to do the Rubigo run like probably four or five dozen times. Because you can get a million dollars a minute with it. So that seems pretty good to me. You can honk in normal space as well. You don't need to deploy hard points for honking. Well, I, it, they were out. I just assumed that I had to, but all right. Maybe I, maybe I bumped a button or something. I still have my Cobra from 2014. I never had the heart, the heart to sell it. <laughs> so who here has been Who's been to SAG A? SAG A. Who's been to the center? Is it, does it look cool? I mean, I'm gonna see it eventually, but does it look cool? Is it, is it a really a big journey? Do you have to like, you know, do you have to, like how long did it take you? Hours, hours wise, like, is it like a 30 hour journey? Been to the other side of the galaxy twice. When people saying stuff like that, it makes me think that there's just nothing left to explore and discover. Like, is there like no chance at all now to have my name on something? Because that's another goal. It's a side goal to have my name on one thing. Doesn't matter what it is, just one thing. I feel like there's very little chance that that can happen now. People are like, I've been on the other side twice, and I'm kind of going, 
Damn. <laughs> We've discovered 0.05% of the galaxy. Wait, really? That's it? So you're telling me there's a chance. So you're saying there's hope that I could actually have my name on more than one thing. <laughs> 400 million billion systems. Well, the game, inside the game, it says there's 9,080 systems. So clearly that's just telling me things that I... That's a really cool looking plume there. Uh, I'll, I'll show you. Maybe, maybe, it's obviously way wrong, but is that many, is that many systems actually in the game though? You know, like you can actually visit that many. Cause that's the thing I wasn't sure of. According to FDub, 0.04%. My God. So you're telling me there's a chance. Seems good, man. Seems good. Well, then that's my next goal. My next goal is to get something with my name on it. I mean, after, you know, I probably want to have an anaconda first or Wait, is it Anaconda is the best exploring ship, right? For furthest jump range? Is there a better one than that? See, I foresee a problem with the Anaconda though. I foresee a problem with it in that, that it's a large ship. And so if for some reason you need to dock somewhere, you just won't be able to. But at the other hand, I mean, fuel scoops and repair drones and you know, high engineering with for tons of shields like all that's a thing so you know, i feel like you wouldn't necessarily have to dock at many stations i don't know i feel like that would be a thing with my explorer account i was eight thousand light years away from the bubble there you can be the first to discover new systems. They will have your name as discovered first. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. At some point, at some point, we're gonna find that. At some point. All right, so this is the last one, guys. This is the last one. All done. So now there's no more missions directing us to go anywhere. Which means, which means, with 10 million, 700,000. Also, can I get any money from the, from the honking? Ooh. I can sell this one. There, I sold data. Uh, okay. So that means our new pathing is to get to the other bookmark, this place. Over here. This is our new, our new place. And we want to go like this. Yep. And then like this. So there's our route. Am I, do my eyes deceive me? Or is with the experience with the extension, like our, our new FSD drive, right? One, two, three, four jumps to get there now. Longer jump range equals shorter trips equals less views. Yeah, now I'm concerned. Like, what if I want to jump multiple times? <laughs> what if I want to see all those sites? There's, you know what? You, you're right. What was I worried about, honestly? <laughs> like, there's just no way. I mean, there's multiple layers to this even. 
This is some No Man's Sky shit. <laughs> what was I worried about? Okay, we're out of here. Finally getting the stream four hours late. Welcome in. Uh, if you're just joining us, <laughs> I have to do this in live streams, which is fine. I think people who are used to watching live streams should understand that we sometimes repeat ourselves because not everybody was here all the time, right? That makes sense. Um, also, just want to point out, um, while I'm live on my channel with Elite Dangerous, there are there should be no ads at all. It should be an ad-free experience. So every time you come here, you shouldn't be getting interrupted. If any of you are interrupted, please tell me so that I can address it. Um, because my live streams on YouTube with Elite Danger De Dangerous should not have any ads on it. I've been, you know, I've been wanting that and now I have it. Um, anyway, if you're just joining us, uh, we are out, of the, are out of the noob systems now. We just left the noob systems. Um, in our Cobra, and we are on our way to go and get an ASP Explorer, but we're going to go a little further away to go get it so we get a discount. So it's going to be that away. I did honk, right? Did I honk? I honked. I totally honked. I definitely honked. Pretty sure I honked. I'm going to say I honked. Head south. Yes, head south. We're heading north, northeast. Across the Gamma Quadrant. In sector 7. Dash 556A. Five, <laughs> Um, next point is actually kind of on the other side of the star, which works for me because we're going to scoop some fuel here anyway, so that's fine with me. I have to go on the other side of the star for it. Fuel scoops are nice. That is pretty cool. I do I do enjoy that. That's cool. I'm working on it. We're getting away from the star now. Okay, we're getting away from it. There you go. Good. Alrighty then. Let's get out of here. Going off to Rana. Rana? Rana. How does the fuel scope work? To be honest, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I just get next to some stars, and if I'm close enough to it, it'll scoop up some fuel. It's magic. <laughs> I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there is a way to, you know, describe that on a science basis, but I don't know what it is. Ads of the devil, I'm joining. Hey, thanks for joining, appreciate it. Uh, I mean, ads are necessary evils. I couldn't do this full time. I couldn't do this anywhere near the number of hours I do it if I if it weren't for ads. They pay really well. And the the thing that is good about ads, from my perspective anyway, I and mean, I'm sure from you guys it, it it sucks, but from my perspective, it allows me to do what I do and and may, be able to make money doing it without taking money out of your pocket. And um, I wasn't able to do that on Twitch. That was another thing that just like Twitch, it. If, if people don't sub on Twitch, if people don't throw bits, uh, there's just, you can't sustain yourself as a full-time creator without money. And Twitch doesn't pay at all unless people are the ones paying. Um, and so I didn't like that part about it. Uh, but at least on YouTube, there's a really good ad network and I'm able to make a living without costing you money so that you can keep having it free. And um, I, I like that part a lot. 
That said, I understand how annoying they are and they definitely hurt live engagement. So for live streams, the ads are off. Um, if you are watching the VOD later, if you're watching this on demand after the fact, there will be ads on that um, because that's not live. Um, so ads, ads are engaged in the VOD, but while live, because I don't want people to miss action. The, the re that's the distinguishing factor between it. Is in a live broadcast. Wait, anarchy. Anarchy. Press J to abort. It's warning me that I should abort. I don't think I honked there. I think I got distracted and I didn't honk. I don't remember. Too late. Um. Anyways, um, the distinguishing factor is if you join into it, if you join into a video or you go to watch something, are you going to be missing something because of an ad? Are you going to miss some action? Are you going to miss something? If the answer is yes, then I have the ads off. Um, if the answer is no, like in a VOD where the ad plays, but you don't miss any action, you pick up right where you left off, then that's fine. At least it's fine for me anyway. Fine to me anyway. Just jump through this. An anarchy just means... Anarchy just means that you can do crime and nobody will find you for it. Oh. There are no police here. Good. Great. Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> I have no shields. Let's go. <laughs> it says boom reported. What does that mean? Boom reported. Hi, Shifter. Love my videos? Thanks. I love your views. Thanks. Appreciate you watching. If you just got, if you're coming in here and you're enjoying yourself at least a little bit, you know, just a little bit, take a couple seconds, click the little like button. Um, my channel averages between three and 6% like to view ratio. I'd like to get that to 10% if I could. Um, I think if I got that to 10%, we would have well, I might actually get more exposure that way, but I just want it for my own personal goals. So if you like what you see, be sure to click that little thumbs up. Maybe get it recommended to more people. I know I'm not, I'm not like an expert on this game or anything, but I'm having a good time. And as long as you are too, that's all that matters. Hey, Gertrude is the next system. The next one over is the, the one I want. Sweet. I really wanted to read that, but I think we have a lot of jumping here. Hang on. Uh, go. Friendship drive. Aw, friendship's gonna happen. The friendship drive. That's why I like YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium is the best. YouTube Premium is amazing. Um, it's actually really good for content creators too. So if you want to support content creators that you enjoy watching and you don't want ads, at the same time, YouTube Premium is the perfect balance for that because it we get paid as, as content creators, we get paid a lot more for you watching our content if you have premium than if you're watching ads. It's a lot more. So if you have premium and you're watching our channel, we thank you because that's actually quite really good for us. Okay, we have arrived in the target system. High security here. I feel safer already. Let's find what's the what's the place I'm looking for here? Is it a station? Oh, there's a lot going on here. Here, let's honk real quick. I haven't honked yet. You're too loud. Cool it, music. Way too loud. All right. What am I looking for here? A station of some kind. Resource extraction site. Uh, is it a surface base? Walker ring. Looking for Walker ring. Ah, 
There it is. Okay. Target acquired. Let's go and find Walker Ring. And now... Now I get to talk. Nice. He's becoming a real... I'm a real boy! <sighs> Elite tries to simulate real life as close as they can, so boom means exactly that. Better prices. Oh, okay, it's an economic boom as opposed to like an explosion boom. See, I thought I was going into a system that just experienced a supernova, so glad that you clarified that. <laughs> uh, when you when you question like that, think of what it could mean in real life. Yeah, like I said, like I said, I thought maybe it was a supernova. Is it boom detected? Okay, well that system doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> I wonder if that's ever happened in the game. They had a system that they know just went nova, or like that is gone now. Like they have evidence of it being gone, so they updated the game, and the system doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Not possible in Elite. Boo! I want to see one up close with no danger to myself. I just want to go out there in a side wander and be like, the star's about to go, man. It could be a huge community event. Think about it. If 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 you were if you were told that at any minute a star was gonna go supernova, you would rush out there with your cheapest ship and you would sit there and watch and you would wait. And you would have like hundreds of other people all out there waiting for that to happen you would all be right there <laughs> you're like this close to it and you'd be like okay we're all gonna watch this together you know big old community event they really should think about it you know sort of like a, they could sit around and tell campfire songs and stuff or yeah tell, tell stories to each other turn the voice turn voice on for the whole system <laughs> be really cool You just like just casually see the thing go supernova right in front of you. I would do whatever it takes to make sure I was there when that happened. I I, I would be worried that it was going to happen while I was asleep, so I would just turn OBS on, set it to record, and I would go to sleep. I would wake up, and if everybody is still there, then it didn't happen yet. Well, okay, if the star is still there, I didn't happen yet. <laughs> And uh, you know, if I'm if I'm sitting in a in a station somewhere because I've respawned in a station or something, then I would be like, okay, it happened while I was asleep, and I'd go back and look at the footage. That'd be awesome. There are planets colliding here, or there. Oh, really? Cool. So viewers with premium are better for streamers than ads. Absolutely, always. Yes. Like that being said, I'm only referring to I'm only referring to income specifically. Um I'm not I'm not referring to like you're a better viewer or a better person or something. It's just income wise, it is substantially better if you are a premium person. <laughs> yeah, eh, eh, eh. you are a person with premium. Not a premium person. <laughs> if you are a person with premium, it is substantially better for our income if you are watching the stream than if you watched a hundred ads all the way through and clicked a few. It's it's that much better. It's it's kind of nuts. So yeah. And it doesn't cost you anything extra. You know, you just pay YouTube, of course, but that's it. But then you never see ads. It'd be cool if you could visit Dying Stars for rare mats. Yeah, that'd be sweet. And then, of course, being a member of the channel directly is even better than premium. So it's it just escalates that way. If you're a YouTube premium person with a membership, oh man, you're just like an all-star now. <laughs> Any black holes you can visit in the game? I'm tempted to get engaged with that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. 
That guy. That guy's gonna die and I'm not gonna be part of- Oh, he got out. He got away. It's so close to the station. I think I'm pretty close to the station, actually. Yeah. I was trying to work my way around to get to the front where I could dock in and apparently I went too far. The guy caught my attention. Plenty of black holes. Yeah, we asked earlier whether or not anyone had ever been to Sag A, um, Sagittarius A. Um, for those younger out there, uninitiated out there, Sagittarius A is the official name for the black hole that's in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So basically, have you been to this? If I say, have you been to Sagittarius A, I'm asking if you've been to the center of the galaxy. Can you get close enough to Sag A to where you can't escape? Like if you get if you get close enough, and you try to like boost away, you know, I mean we have faster than light travel, so I would assume you could get. You just have to go faster than light, really. But yeah. Feels like having Netflix for me. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm here. Clock district. I've made it here. Right, we're in here. So now it's time to buy my ship, right? It's time to it's time to buy my ship. That took a lot less time than I thought it would, honestly. That frame shift drive upgrade was great. Now I only have 10 million though. Which is less than the 12 million I thought I was gonna have, but that's because I that's because I upgraded the frameshift drive on my Cobra. So, is it... Do you think it should be something I should do? Should I sell the components on my Cobra that I bought and free up those funds to put them in the Explorer? Or should I just leave them on the ship? Because if I actually pull them off, can I put them on? I wonder if I can just put them on the Explorer. Absolutely. Okay. So, I can take the 4A frameshift drive... And that's the most expensive one they have, though. I'm wondering, the... Okay, so the Explorer, does it have slots bigger than this? Am I, am I going to be able to use this? Sell the FSD. Okay. The FSD is quite, quite expensive, so... Um, I want to sell it. How do I sell it? <laughs> Wait, I've sold things before. How is it? Oh, maybe I need to replace it. Like replace it with, with, with a smaller one. Like I'll, I'll put a 3C on it or something. Yeah, I'll just put like a 2B or something on it instead. I get 1.5 million back for doing that. That's fine. Uh, what next? The scoop. Power distributor, life, the scoop. I need to go optional internals. The 3A fuel scoop. Should I sell this? This gives me the sell option. I guess I can't, um, I can't have a ship without a frame shift drive, I guess. That's why there was no sell option. So I should sell the scoop. Okay, that's done. Um, so that gives me 13.2. Pretty pretty sweet. So that's all the money I was going to have before and the, for the plan. So now I can go to the shipyard. And they have 18 options here. That's way more than I had before. So it used to be that this was the best ship I had access to. And now I've got better ones. Type 6 transporter. I hear this one is really popular for transport missions. Keelback, ASP Scout, Vulture. There's my baby right there. 5.6 million. Cool. Is there a better one I should get instead of this? I'm just gonna check. I'm I'm pretty sure this is the one I want, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check. Um like what can I afford kind of thing, right? So I guess what kind of matters is after I 
do things. The core internal, there's 5e. Okay, so 5e frame shift drives. This can have a bigger frame shift drive. Um, doesn't come with a scoop or anything, but I can always put that on there, of, of course. Uh, no docking assist by standard. Fine. Um, this is a medium sized ship. So it'll be a bigger ship than the one I just got, than the one that I'm driving now, flying now. Uh, type seven, this is good for mining, right? Or is it the type nine? I think maybe the type nine is good for mining. It's huge. Large size landing pads, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulse lasers. Look at the size of this thing, man. 65 million for this ship. And then the Corvette. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, we want this is this is the one we want. This is the one we want. ASP Explorer, and then um, yeah, and we're gonna work our way to a Python. Exactly, that's that's the goal. The Explorer and then the Python. Uh, okay, so I don't think I want to store the current ship, but like I have to store it. So I guess I just pay the fee to move it later. That's the idea, right? So I will just store the current ship. It doesn't cost me anything to store it. It just costs me to move it later. Okay. So we are now in an ASP Explorer. Oh baby, the Corvette. Good old $158 million. <laughs> Yikes, that's a lot. Okay, we're now in a bigger ship. So now it's time for outfitting. We want the best frame ship drive we can have. So we're going to core. We're going to FSD. And instead of the 5E, we're going to get a 5A. You bet your ass. Right? <laughs> Maybe it's not you bet your ass. It's a 5A is the one I want, right? 5E is 20 tons. And it goes 13. Yikes. This goes further. Way further. I thought I could do a 6. Can I do bigger here? How come it only gets 28? I thought this thing could go further than 28. Maybe I have to make my ship lighter. That's probably why. 5A, exchange. Done, okay. So that's taken care of. We probably want power to be improved, maybe. 5E is 20 tons. If I can get a 5A, then it's 10 tons. The thing is, I don't have enough money for that. Um. Maybe I could afford to drop down to a 4A. I just want to make it lighter. I kind of want to just want to make it lighter, right? Who calls it an ASP Explorer? It's ASP. The guy who's looking at the game and saying three capital letters is an acronym. I don't know. The guy who's brand new. Aspects. I'll show you an asp. <laughs> D rate everything else. Okay. So 5D then. Oh, eight tons. Oh, so light. D rate everything else. Uh, exchange. Okay. 500,000 for rebuy. Power distributor going 4D. Life support, might as well go 4D. It is lighter. So are all the D-class stuff just lighter? Is that it? It's a specific number that, or that letter just makes everything lighter. I'm in if that's the case, I'm just curious now. 5D on the thrusters. Yeah, that puts me over 30 light years. I like it. Uh, 5E on the sensor. Should I go 5D, I guess, on the sensors too? 
Yeah, it's a lot lighter. Wow. Okay. Now I'm up to 30, 32. Fuel tank. 5D. Don't have the option for 5D. We'll keep 5C. Uh, lightweight alloys. I think that's pretty much all we want then. Cool. Okay. What about optional stuff? Can we do we ditch the shields? I don't know if we need these cargo racks, but they don't really weigh anything. If we could swap them for something else. Uh, we definitely want a fuel scoop, a big fuel scoop. So that's probably going in the sixth slot. Should I put it in here? Big fill scoop. Ooh, my God, that's expensive. No, thank you. I can afford a 5B. 5B is better than 4A. Oh, there's a 6C. 6C is better. It's a million dollars. I'm getting danger close to like not being able to actually fly with rebuy here. I don't like that. Can't afford the C6 fuel scoop yet. Yeah, yeah. Do I even need the shield generator to be on five? I can move it down here. Maybe get a three on it instead. And just sell the sell the big one. I'm only allowed to have one anyway. Shield generator. I could do away with this, right? To keep the 4A fuel scoop should be fast enough. Uh I don't have a 4A. I'd have to I have to replace my shield to do that. Or just replace the cargo. I kinda like I don't know, I kinda want the cargo. I don't know. Something about it just seems right to me. Uh I think I'm going to ditch the shield generator. The 5E on the shield generator. Replace it with a bigger fuel scoop. And we'll stay, yeah, the 4A. That's so expensive, though. I'm getting danger close to just not... Yeah, I need to be able to afford this. What about a 5B? be a 5c it's a good compromise for cost it's a bigger one I, I think I'm gonna go with this one it's an okay cost compromise I'm gonna go with that used a 4a scoop on a beluga for years um so I got a 5c scoop we'll see if that works for me I don't know if I really need the, the five slot for anything else. Um, I think having shields is kind of mandatory because I'm not gonna have the parking assist. Although maybe I should, maybe I should just go get it. The docking computer, it's 11,000 bucks. Might as well back grab a vehicle hanger. Why? I need to have an SRV in order to do that, right? I don't have the money for that. Like I'm, I'm getting real, I'm getting real close here. Plus, I need to buy all the sensors and all that stuff too. Yet, right? Maybe I'll sell this cargo rack. I have a 5e cargo rack. I don't need an extra one. I can put something else in here probably. Um, what is AFMS? In-flight repair of internal ship modules can restore broken modules. Eh. I'm looking for... Oh, I, you know, I probably want to have at least... I need to have some shields. So let's do it in the three slot. We'll do a shield generator that's three. Just something for docking purposes. I need to have some kind of, some kind of shield. So we'll put the 3D on it. Just in case I bump into something, I, I just want to make sure I'm not taking hull damage. So, small amount of shield is fine. Um, and then... 
5 c fuel scoop might be overkill but hey we'll go fast with it that cargo it doesn't take up weight i'm not gonna put anything else in the six slot 32 capacity is pretty good do i want anything else in the three slot surface scanners this is a one though um ammo clip size is three Ooh, only three advanced astronomical scanner that launches probes used to reveal important information about planets and stellar bodies we definitely want that but i don't think i need it in the, the big slot i can get away with it being down here i think i'm gonna ditch this nope that's a repair limpet although maybe that'll be useful if i get really far out there that might be useful um yeah detailed surface scanner that's expensive okay 2.3 million our insurance is 543,000 <sighs> it's infinite don't worry about the clip size on the scanner oh it's infinite okay good I was like I gotta buy these little scanner limpets or something okay uh there's a 1E super cruise assist. Is it always that way? Yeah, always 1E. What's the advanced docking computer do? Oh, okay. So the one does the launch sequence and the other one does docking only. Okay, no big deal. I think I can handle it. But the thing is, this is a bigger ship than I've ever driven before. And I still like the idea of being able to talk with you guys while that stuff's taking place, you know? So I, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Just because I, I like the idea of, you know, like, eh, it'll take care of it for me and I can just communicate. I, I, I think for me, that, that makes sense to me. Um, like if I was just playing myself and I had, you know, full, full focus, then I think maybe I wouldn't want it. But um, it's 11,000 bucks and it provides a service to me and I like it. So we're going to do it. Um, okay, so I've got all those things. We have a 33 light year jump range. Does that seem okay for an ASP Explorer? Or sorry, for an ASP? For an ASP Explorer? What about utility mounts? Heat sinks, probably want some of those. Just in case we get too close to the sun. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Kill warrant scanners, manifest scanners, wake scanners. Pulse wave analyzer. I don't know. Shield booster just adds weight, so no thanks. Uh, point defense? Nope. What's a manifest scanner do? Scanner that can detect and analyze the contents of a target's vessel, cargo hold, and passenger cabins. I have no use for that. Uh, pulse wave analyzer mining tool don't have no use for that okay um wake scanner to collect data for future unlocks oh scanner that can calculate the destination of a hyperspace jump by analysis of frameshift energy wake interesting um they're pretty heavy it's gonna be 33 it's bringing me down to 33 which isn't that big of a deal, I guess. Just get the cheapest one, or? Are you outfitting for mining or bounties? Um, This is just for exploring. I'm going to do, yeah, Road to Riches. There you go, R to R. But yeah. I have no interest in, um, yeah, I have no interest. So, uh, lightest, cheapest. Well, they're all light, so I guess I'll just do the cheapest one. Okay, fine. I mean, it's, it, the difference is 33 to 33.12, so I don't know. You don't need FSD scanner for exploration. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, we'll take this away then. Sell it. It's the same thing we bought it for, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, hang on, hang on. We gotta make this. We gotta we gotta decorate. 
We gotta make sure this works for us. And by us, I mean me. Paint jobs. Hoorah. Well, that's looks in, that looks pretty cool. They have some pretty cool paint jobs in here. But all of these require me to have arcs. Gross. Oh, gross. But I want them. I'm going to have to buy some arcs. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to have to. I, I think between now and next stream, I'm going to buy some arcs so that I can have, you know, I, I got to have Celeste. I got to have Celeste. She's just too, too good. I mean, Victor, fine, but, um, you know, I need. Greetings, come on. Greetings, Commander. This is Celeste. Your cockpit voice is. I mean, look, look, guys. I'm a simple man, okay? I'm a simple man. Simple men, okay? When you hear this voice. Greetings, Commander. This is Celeste. Your cockpit voice assistant, also known as Kovals. Installed to provide systems information and analytical support throughout your journey. Come on. I'm issued as standard by the Pilots Federation in accordance with Statute B724. I could listen to her talk forever. <laughs> I could. If you wanted an anaconda flying uh, top cover for you. What? Are we playing an open? No, no. Won't be playing an open yet. Got to get my feet wet, super comfortable, and have like, I don't know, 10 times rebuy in the bank before I start doing that. Uh, well, I'm going to leave it default, I guess, since I can't do anything. Although having an engine, I, I'm never going to see this. Oh, wait, is there a way to play third person? I've seen screenshots of people flying third person before. Is there like a, is there a button for that? I should look at that. It's probably right in the options. I just missed it. All right, so I think, I think I'm done. Everything in core internal is done. Yeah, everything core internal is done. Utility mounts, I just have the heat sink and I believe that's it. I don't think there's a real reason to add uh, the shield booster, but I mean, maybe it keeps me alive in some niche situation and it, I sacrifice a mere 0 0.04 light years jump speed to have a little bit of a boost. Maybe that's okay. I don't know. You can lower your power plant still for a few extra bucks in your wallet. Oh, I can? Right, because I don't need it up here. I can I can do it down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's, let's try that then. Um, let me just grab like a D. No, these are, this is the lightest one. I'm just going to grab a little one. It's really cheap. Maybe it'll keep me alive. Who knows? Um, then we can go into core, go to power plant. And instead of having a 5D power plant, we could go into having a 4D power plant. Right? And that actually increases my jump range by quite a bit. Try 3A. So 4D does 11.7. Uh, 3A is 12. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Hey, that's a difference. Hey, I like that. But it costs me more. That would actually cost me more money. But I get more jump range out of it. Okay, 3A over the 4D. We'll do 3A on the power then. Now we're at 33 and a half. Worth it. 3A will have more power. Why will a 3A have more power than a 4A? I thought bigger was better when it came to numbers, guys. Have I been deceived this whole time? I was told by many people that size matters. So am I wrong now? 
You'll run cooler with the A power plant as well. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. I had, I had a 5C and you moved me to a 4, to a 3A. Maybe it's the C and the A that's the difference. Maybe I had a 4D, a 5D. I forget what I had. Forget it, it doesn't matter. Um, do I need anything for hard points? I've got simple lasers here. Um, you know, is there anything that I should be looking at here that might help me with anything here, hard point wise? I don't I don't think so. It's all just extra weight, but it doesn't look like there's anything utility wise here, so I don't think so. Um Optional internals then is kind of it. And I've only got two spare three size compartments. I'm currently cruising around with just a hair under four times rebuy. So that's pretty good, I guess. Um, FSD interdictors. Nope, I don't need that. It doesn't help me get out of a, a sticky situation. Um, probably no reason to get any collection limpets. Fuel transfer limpets. Um, nothing for hatch breaking, reinforcements, prospecting. What about recon limpets? Directs the limpet to hack into data points. Is that something I might use in this ship? Hacking into data points? I suppose it'd probably be a mission specific thing, but I'm not sure I would ever really use that. Collectors are probably the only limpet you need right now. So I do need collection limpets. Canisters, salvage, and asteroid chunks. No, I don't think so. What about repair limpets? Should I get something to help me repair in case there's no station around? That might be useful. I won't have money shield, so if I get attacked and I somehow get away, but I don't have a whole lot of hull, maybe I can have them repair me. I don't know, just throwing out ideas. See what the veterans think. Sorry, 3A is better than 4D. Yeah, yeah, I, that's where I was That's where I was messed up. I had a D before and moving to an A mattered. That, that's why, yeah. We're exploring, there is a there is the dark outside, no data to scan, no enemies to shoot. What? Are you behind? I'm not on the hard points anymore. <laughs> Install a car hanger. Okay, so do I need to buy designed to house ground-based vehicles? So this would be Good for exploration, probably, but it's also 12 tons. Why would I not? Okay, what's... It just draws more power. Why would I not do 2G? It just seems like it's flat better. In every possible way. It's just lighter, but it draws more power. We're doing R to R, not full exploration. Well, I mean, okay. In order to do R to R, if I read it correctly, which I may not have, it seems to me I need over 30 light years. I believe the number that I read online was 30.15 specifically to, to do it effectively. Um, and I'll have 33 so far. So I have more than that. As long as I have over 30 light years, like 30.15, but... As long as I have comfortably over 30 light years, I can do it successfully. So I'm, I'm okay with going a little heavier than that. Um, if it means that I can, if I choose to along the way, drop down onto the surface and get some surface data. But I don't know what kinds of surface data I can get. Um, with the SRV, can I actually get new data that I can sell with the SRV if I, if I was to buy it in this? Also, follow-up question. This has a vehicle slot. Does it also come with the vehicle? We're about to buy that separately, and how much does it cost? 
2G is six tons. Right, my question was, why would I not do 2G? And what situation does anyone ever get 2H? Maybe if they're really hamstringed on power, that's probably it. R to R is honk, scan system, scan planet surface from orbit, go to next system and repeat. I know. I know, but if I if I can get extra data, if I can get extra stuff along the way, then I will. But it doesn't look like I can get anything from the... So what's the purpose of the SRV? Like, if we do a real talk, what's the benefit of the SRV? Is there anything, like, legit to do? Or is it just, ha it's fun. It's fun to ride around. Is that about it? If you can't drive worth the damn and want the extra vehicle... I've already remapped the keys for the SRV because the, the control scheme for the SRV, in my opinion, the default control scheme seems like it was designed by someone who doesn't play video games. Didn't make any sense at all. So I've already remapped them because of the training, but yeah. You can collect engineering mats from the surface. Okay, so that sounds like something I might want to do. That sounds like something I might want to do, okay. Uh, so... I should get it then? If I go down, if I see a surface planet uh, and I scan the surface, right? If, if I scan the surface and I see that there are mats down there, I assume I can see that information from orbit if I scan the surface. Is it something I should do? I mean, granted, I'd have that stuff would be quite heavy. So then it would probably degrade my jump. So maybe not. Um, but it does say jump minimum. 30.46 does that mean if i have a full cargo hold it's 30.46 or how does how are these numbers determined i have so many questions you see what i'm saying i have so many questions <laughs> i'm a terrible student or maybe i'm a good student but just a terrible learner i don't know i want to know i want to know everything i want to know everything right now ready set go there are things planet side that you can scan and collect materials from yep SRV is your main way to get surface materials for the engineering, but that's late game grind. Well, if I can get started on early, then it, maybe it won't be such a grind. Mad fun to run around, collect materials for upgrades. Shoot at people if you ever play Odyssey. Okay. Or you can wait till you have more funds. Well, it's not that it's not that expensive. I hear that the SRV is only five grand, so we're talking like an extra twenty six thousand dollars. It's not a meaningful amount of money. By far the easiest way to get some of the rarer engineering materials is needed for a bunch of missions. It's also fun. Okay. Tell you what. I'm going to do it. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Right? That's what I was always... That's what I, Mama always said. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Now, how do I get the SRV, though? Because I got the hangar, but I don't have the actual vehicle. So I assume that that's maybe in the shipyard or something. Advanced maintenance, perhaps? Restock. Got the heat. Nope. Where would I actually find it then? SRV for the win. Okay. Oh, we need to name our ship. How do I name my ship? I want to name it. Is it in the library? Is this where we name it? Identification, please. Ooh, we can have name plates. What should we name our ship, though? Right now, this is simply called CH-12A. Oh, it's right here. I see it. I'm, like, reading this right over top of the button that says change. Aw. This is probably the most brilliant way to engage a bunch of nerds on the internet. It's going to get better. You ready, AJ? It's going to get better. Chat, name my ship. Nothing inappropriate. <laughs> That's the distinction. I had to make a distinction there. Nothing inappropriate. Front decals. This is I'm going to have this ship for a long time, so we're going to I'm going to do a little bit on this. Oh. 
I need arcs. These 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 things are really cheap though. I can afford them. Kind of. Hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> really? I like these wings actually. Those are cool. I like these wings. I'm gonna buy this wing these wings. I think those are nice. Right decal, left decal. Hmm. Looks kinda cool. What's the really expensive ones? No, they're not that expensive. I will look at your names. I'm giving you time to place the names in chat. <sighs> Priority. Ooh. Coming out with the big guns. I like it. Charlie's Asp. I should boot A ASSP. <sighs> but will he drop actual dollars? Um. Yeah, no, I eventually will buy arcs because I want Celeste. And I have to pay. I, I They're actually not that unreasonable. Like, I can have Celeste talking to me for five bucks. That's pretty good. Grazed bottom. Grazed bottom. Wow. Great name. <laughs> El Capo. Close to not safe for work, right? La Fedora. Back from work. Hi. Welcome in, Lars. We're naming my new ship. I need a name for my new explorer. I'm, I'm kind of liking... Priority right now is, is winning. So far. Got to beat priority. Maybe you had to incorporate priority into something else. Incorporate it into... Uh... Like, I don't like... I don't think I like USS priority, but... You know, something like, something like that. Something different. Power play decal. Nah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm gonna leave these decals out of it, but just, the, I just want the things I'm gonna be able to see. It's the paint job, right? Like, these are pretty cool. Be awesome to have some of these. Like, this thing looks awesome. I'd love that. Um, I have Twitch drops, though, and I don't know where to find them. Where do I find my drops? This is not the drop, by the way. Anybody have... Anybody have drops? Dashboard stuff! Oh, is this where people have the bobbleheads? I've seen bobbleheads, and I was wondering about that. Yeah, these are where the bobbleheads are. They all cost an insane amount of arcs. Damn it. <laughs> of course they do. Oh, wow. I like AJ's option. Priority one. So I'm making the ship IDs just sequentially for the ships that I've had. The ship IDs, I don't care. The ship names. I like it. I like it. The problem with this though, right, is once I get the Anaconda, then it's like, that's gonna be priority one, right? Like, I don't wanna like to rename the ship, so now I'm kinda like thinking maybe it's not the right way to go with it. Or if I get like, you know, one of those cutters, like the big ship should be like, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe just name it something different. Good thing is most modules will be good for Python. So you can engineer it once and swap. Apparently I can't have bobbleheads unless I pay money. Okay, I'm gonna sink like 40 bucks into this just for arcs now. <laughs> just kidding. Not that much. Wow, spoilers. Really? You can just... Nothing's happening. Oh, you have to select. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. Wow, they're they're expensive. I want to know where my Twitch drops are. I know I have something. I just don't know what it was. 
I thought it was a paint job. You name whatever ship you are currently using as priority one, like the U.S. president. <sighs> Somebody give that man a cookie. He's right. Okay, good. Just redeemed purple skins and all in the last stream by Frontier. How do I, how do I access my drops? Uh, okay, so it looks like priority one is the name. And I think that's gonna be it, but I kinda wanna see what the heck this is. Wings, whoops, wings, and then, oh yeah, cause if I ever feel like making it pristine looking ship, it had to be a completely different looking ship for that stuff to work for me. Yeah. How about here? Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, now you just, yeah, yeah. You add a completely different looks to it and stuff. I like it. What I don't care for is like, it's it's not really that good of a design for a spacecraft. I mean, you don't need wings. I guess if we're landing on a planet though, then you just kind of float in and use it as a, you know, Aerodynamics matter then, I guess. The priority big one. <laughs> the Pioneer. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like it better. I don't know why, but I do. I, I. I I like it better. Random, but yeah, I kind of, I dig it. It's a cool wordplay on being a pioneer. We're going out exploring. It's like, it's not so much the ship I'm on as much as it is like a name that represents its purpose as well. Yeah, I like that. All right, Versalex, thank you so much. That's. I think that's the winner. But you know what? Priority one, absolutely gonna be my Python then. <laughs> or we can find some wordplay with passenger transport because that's what I'm gonna use the Python for. Um, I'll probably outfit it for mining and stuff too, but for passenger transport initially, so we'll see. But I can dig it. Okay, so this is like right at the peak of my power, right? Max is 12 and I'm gonna use 11.84. So that's pretty wild. Um, but we're at 33 light years range. I think we're good here. Are we ready to take the journey? Huh? We're in the, uh, what's the system we're in right now? It's Walker Ring Station, but what system are we in right now? Is it, uh, is it actually called Lin Yang Roy? No. Fatherhood. Council. I'm surprised it doesn't actually tell me what system I'm in here. You need more DACA. Did I miss anything? Can you guys think of anything that I might have missed? Um, anything at all that I might want to... Oh, Gertrud. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's weird that it doesn't actually show me that in this interface. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have sort of a different, a different road to riches run than um, a lot of people do because of where we're starting. We'll have a lot of different, we'll have a different route. Um, I have a list of 300 systems that we can go to and uh, maybe we'll make that 300 system route or I won't, I really don't know, but this site is gonna show me my route and that's kind of cool. And we'll, maybe we'll see systems that uh, maybe you guys, when you do the road to riches yourself, won't see because that'll be starting in a different place. So that's kind of cool. So, uh, also in case you're wondering what I look like, I did mess with that just a little bit. I, there's not a lot of options, but this is what I went. That's what I went with. So there's me. 
I did. It's it's kind of it's kind of close. It's there's not a lot of options, but you know, it's something there. So there we go. Okay. SRV and needs shields to go with a shield booster. I have a shield. I have shields. Very small shields, but I have shields. Um, should I get bigger shields? I technically can jump far enough to do this. Um, at least I think I can. Um, wait, no. The first jump in this... Ooh, okay. Now, I need to know how far I need to jump because this actually has... Hold on. So this jump here I'm noticing is 34.12. That's, that's that's farther than I can go. This jump is 50. So hmm, maybe this won't work. Hold on. Systems and route. Um, is there any way I can, in this list, is there any way I can alter my maximum jump range? Small shields are okay for exploring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll work, you'll just do two jumps. Okay, fair. Fair. Uh, okay, populous this is a mark with this. Okay, so the first place we're going is requiring two jumps. <laughs> I guess I'll start with an extra system then. We'll get our feet wet with one that's not on the path. Um, so I, I need the SRV though. How do I... Um, how do, where do I get that? I don't. I didn't see it anywhere. I assume it was. Oh, I just happened to navigate directly to where I needed to go. Fine. This wasn't available before because I didn't have a bay. I don't know. I'll just go ahead and casually click instinctually to where I need to go. No big deal. Got it. Good. Check, please. 32 light years and change will get you to Beagle. Uh, I have 30, yeah, 33 light years of distance, right? Is my max jump? 33? I forgot what it is now. I actually would really like to know that. I need to actually know that definitively. Can I see that in this panel over here? Status. Does it show me? So I have rebuy easy um, three times at least. Uh, session log. Looks like I have to actually go in 3303. Okay. So if it's over 33, nothing. If it's 33 or less, then good. And you know, 3303 is more than enough, I think. I mean, my first jump is 35. How many of these jumps are going to be over 33, though? One. That one is 32.9. Great. Um, 50.6 on this one. So two jumps. 37 right after that. Uh, 34.12. Unlucky. 37. 43. So I would say it looks to me like about... Um, based on this list, I would say maybe 10% of our jumps are above that. So that's not too bad. We can make use of that. It just requires more jumps, that's all. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to, you know, I know I'm going to be stopping at these stations. Or I know I'm going to be stopping at planets. And um, like, I'm going to be stopping and doing things way slower than somebody who's just racing through it um but this is this is the part of the game that i think is going to be cool is to see new places and i'm starting from a place that most people don't start at so i might see places that you guys have never ever went to who knows because most of these most people who are doing this are starting a little bit closer to the other systems so it's nice uh okay so we launch. Fighter groups, of course. I would never forget. I'm basically an elephant. All right, we have pulse lasers. 
Why do we have pulse lasers? Stand by. No, go away. Why do we have pulse lasers? I thought I sold those. We might be able to jump further than I thought. Now it's 33.38. Cool. Service scan and D scanner are what you want to bind to a fire group. Yeah, I got you. Dump the later lasers for PDT. PDT? that get one smallest possible mining laser and keep it powered off until you need it i'm gonna be needing it okay what am i what am i doing this for explain this because it's two tons of weight subsurface displacement missile oh a point defense turret eh Eh. Eh. Explaining the FSS. Who wants that job? FSS? FSS. Wait, what? I want to know why I need the mining laser. Is there going to be times where I need to have like certain resources? Not going that far out. I'm going far, man. What do you mean I'm not going that far? I'm going far. All right. We're going far. Hundreds of thousands of... We're going millions and millions upon millions of light seconds away. Uh, some activities out there where you need laser. Also, you can mine materials in space using it too. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, we're doing R to R. Okay, I get it. That's that's for another thing. I got gotcha. you. No, we don't need any weapons. We're a very peaceful, no cargo kind of run here. So look at this. We got we got power to spare. Now we're at thirty three point three eight. Okay. If you hadn't said fire groups. I'd be leaving with two lasers right now. Nice. All right, so uh, we wanna go to fire groups and we wanna go to surface scanner and D scanner on secondary, I guess. And what's the comp scanner? What's that? Is that mining stuff? Composition, like this is mining related or, and then heat sink should be on fire group two. I think so, yeah. All right, so clock, explain FSS. And watch as everyone else tries to jump in and do it anyway. <laughs> Let's leave it to clock. What's, what's he, what is this FSS? What is that? Short range composition scanner. Okay, I don't. I don't need that on a, a fire group then. So this is my this is my fire groups. So I think that's fine. I don't know what you mean by FSS though. If you had said the full thing instead of the abbreviation, I might have known what it is. Um, so there's our flight assistant, hyperspace dethrottle, auto throttle, all good things. What's this? Yeah, this is all fine. Flight assistant, hold input mode. Seems good. Okay. I think we're all set. Full spectrum scanner. It lets you scan planets to figure out what's in a system. I already have this on my ship, yes. I don't need to buy it. I'm gonna hit this button and I don't wanna like, you know. 
I don't want to have to come back down. <laughs> Detailed surface scanner, DSS. I have that, yeah? I have that. We're going on a big journey, so I need to know I have everything. D scanner. That's the detailed system scanner, is the D scanner, right? And then the surface scanner, we have that. Full spectrum scanner, I don't see that on the list, so it must be built in. We have one on your ship, okay. I have one on my ship, so while we, while we launch, I will read. Okay, we're out, we're going on an adventure. You know what they say. Adventure is out there. 0.05% of the galaxy has been seen. There, we're gonna put our mark on the stars. Our big medium sized ship. I've never driven a ship this big before. It's not even the biggest one. Food and water. Oh, shoot. Forgot about it. I forgot all about that food and water. Do we have coffee? I heard that's a thing that you can put on your ships. To boldly go, yes. To boldly go. All right. We're going to leave. Get out of here. We have some shields. Not a lot, but we have some. In case any accidents happen, I feel much more... I feel much safer having some shields. Definitely. <laughs> where no Charlie has gone before. That's where we're going. <laughs> that's where we're going. Okay, so we're going to have to do two jumps to get to our first destination, unfortunately. Let me just go ahead and hawk this in case I haven't already. Okay. Okay. My D scanner is a weapon. You see that? She thinks my D is a weapon. I'll take that as a compliment. Navigation! We are going to... First system that we're going to is something called LTT-11383. That is the first place we're going, right there. It says routes unavailable. Why is the route unavailable? Contested. Felicity Waters. Yeah, now the route's available. So we'll have a jump in the middle of this. And that's okay. It's this way. Get ourselves lined up. Going on an adventure. Cannot comply. Frame shift drive charging. Apparently my D is sticking out. Go back in there. Anyone have any fuel rats on the line? I'll be fine. I've got a hood scoop. Fuel scoop. I mean I got a good fuel scoop. I can go as far out as I want now. I got a good exploration ship now. Can I comply? It was really perfectly timed, actually, yeah. Wow. Hello. All right. We're just gonna go ahead and, uh. Ding. We'll just go ahead and do that real quick. Next destination is actually on the other side of the sun. It's on the other side of this ginormous star. So we'll just scoop for a bit. Good. Just get away from the star really quick. Bye, giant star. God, it looks cool though, doesn't it? Um, so is there something I should do? What should I, let's let's practice it before we go to the actual place. I could start here even. Um, 
what should I be doing to try to discover worlds and to see what's in the system? Because like I'm gonna eventually get to the system and I've got to figure out like what to do when I get there. So walk me through how to get that going. Clock says, press the apostrophe. Okay, clock, you're gonna walk me through it. Press the apostrophe. Apparently I didn't press apostrophe. Okay, there it is. Oh, it's gonna walk me through it right here. Okay, cool. So how to use the FSS. Pressing mouse three will identify and analyze various signals from the system you are scanning. Once processed, these will be added to the filtered signal analysis bar towards the screen. Okay. At this point, you will also be presented with the system's orbital plane. Many of the astronomical bodies you are looking for will be located on or near this plane. Okay. As you move around the system, you will notice highlighted areas. These are signal fields. You can investigate these fields to locate the source of signals shown in the filtered signal analysis bar. You can then use tune in. You can use tune in to signals on the filtered signal analysis bar using the period. Okay, this is gonna get complicated, I guess. Turning, tuning into the correct region of the bar is essential when trying to locate the source of signals in the system. The more intense the signals are, or signals you are looking for, the further to the right of the bar you will tune. The more intense the signals you are looking for, the further to the right of the bar you will tune. Larger objects such as gas giants have a more intense signal. That's okay. While smaller signals such as USSs, USSs are much less intense. When tuning the filtered signal analysis, patterns will appear. These patterns represent kinds of signals that can be found in the region in the filtered signals analysis. As you get closer to the signal field, you will notice patterns in the FSS reticule. If you are not correctly tuned into a signal, these waveforms will appear scattered and random. If you are very far from the correct tuning area, these waveforms will not appear at all. Okay. When tuned correctly, the pattern will match those appearing above the field signal analysis bar. So three, three, and then one. Okay. It will also be symmetrical and will point towards the origin of the signal. When you get close enough to the signal, a circular marker will appear. If the marker is a dotted circle, you are not correctly tuned to the signal. Once tuned, pointing at this marker and pressing mouse one will zoom in which will either locate the origin of the signal or in more congested systems will zoom in to a secondary level, allowing you to continue to search for the signal. This process can occasionally require zooming in multiple times. Your current zoom level is shown on the left of the screen. You can, oh my God, there's so much information on this. Wow. Um, if two signals are close together, you can separate them by using step stepped zoom. Use the up arrow to step in and down to step out. Once you find the origin of the signal and zoom into it, you'll be presented with additional information and you can then target the signal by pressing T to exit, zoom out, press there. Okay, okay, that's, that's a thing. That's a whole lot of things. Um, real quick. I think maybe I drop out of S. I drop out of. I mean, I'm technically traveling towards my next jump point, but like we're 12.8 light years away, so whatever. But I bet I can probably save fuel by just like stopping, right? So. Frame shift drive charging. No, drop out. There we go. All right, so I can probably. Oh, FSS has to be done in Super Cruise. Oh, okay. I'll go back into Super Cruise then. Didn't know that. Frame shift drive charging. Charge it up. Why does it have to be done in Super Cruise? Ready to engage. I think practical tutorial. Well, we're gonna have lots of practice. We're gonna have tons of practice on how this works. So, because like I'm doing like 40 systems in a row. So yeah, lots of practice about to happen. Four, three, wait, two, wait, wait. One, okay, I did press the right button. I wasn't sure if I pressed, I wasn't sure if I pressed the super cruise button or the hyperspace button because I have them separated. <laughs> that 
that's why it's important to have them separated um so i had them separated and uh, i wasn't sure which one i did so okay i'm going the slowest i can possibly go in super cruise so let's try this out i already forgot the first step <laughs> um Oh, I got something. Okay, so I'm seeing these. Active, adaptive zoom failed. Okay, so what do I have to do? Show help, uh, zoom, step down, tuning. How the hell does this tool work? <sighs> Separating them is a good idea. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to read what he said before. Um, how did you choose your route? I'm, I'm using ED tools to choose the route based on starting uh, at Gertrude or yeah, whatever it's called. Need to bind tuning. It's not binded by default. Are you kidding me? What are you thinking? Oh, what are these people thinking? I don't even know where that would be. Uh, probably not flight controls. Uh, interface mode? Nope. Uh, here. No, it's A and D. I got it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's done. Okay, we got it. It's binded. I did it. But I still know what to do. This tool. Okay. Encoded emissions. I mean, I just, I just, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to, um, okay. So at this point, when I've got this, I can see the body that's there. Um, I can see that it has cadmium, antimony, whatever. Um, I can see all the different information about it, ideally. It's actually called Hodor. Hodor. Is that the system I'm in right now? This is B3. Okay. So this gives me data, right? I don't have to do anything to collect the data or you know, like it, I just I just have the data and when I go back to a station I can sell it. Is that the idea? Because I don't see any um oh wait, tar maybe it's maybe it's T. No, that targets the signal. But if I wanted to surface scan this, I would then go to that signal and I would do, I want, you know what? I want to practice it. Whoops, I keep doing escape. Backspace instead. All right, so I found it and then I want to go there. Okay, so let's say hypothetically, less than hypothetically, I want to go there. So I would then go to that signal. All right, and then we just ramp up, you know? I suppose I probably could do the Super Cruise Assist, but I'll do it manual so that the new people can see I know what the heck I'm doing. Also, I should probably put pretty much everything into engines all the time, power-wise, so we'll, we'll be doing that too. Forgot to tell you a pro tip. When you enter, wait, what? Hold on. When you enter, which space? Front 
back to zero that throttle back to zero that way you, you, if you get distracted you won't bop the star yeah i know i got that that's an automatic thing i ought i automatic back to zero anyway like my my instant response is just to hold f when i as soon as i see the star i just hold f that'll throttle me all the way down so that's my throttle i, I have it on my mouse usually but i find myself kind of um since I didn't have the key bindings on my mouse until today, so I'm not used to using them yet, but I'm trying to get used to using my throttle controls with the mouse instead. Okay, so. I just get right up next to the body. I don't know how close I'm supposed to get, though. Do I get... Is there like a preferred distance that you that you think is is good to get? My end is full stop, home is full throttle. Oh, that's way over there. Um, I just have R and F, which is really close by, um, and then X is full stop, and then I use the number pads. Um, one is twenty five percent, two is fifty, and three is seventy five percent. If I want like something specific on that, you know. Five thousand light years away. This is a huge system. How in the world? Oh, light seconds. Okay, never mind. I'm like, wait a minute. How in the? If you're five thousand light years away, how in the hell are you orbiting this star? Light seconds. Light seconds. Very, very different. Very different thing. This is a very big system, though. Like, my God. Actually takes quite a long time to reach this hotter B3. Hodor. Hodor B3. I don't know how you're still orbiting. How do you even care about what this other star is doing, huh? Multiple stars in a system. Yeah, that's true. It looks like there is, actually. That's what it looks like. If I'm not mistaken, that over there is another star, right? No? Otter... Otter B? Yeah, that's Otter B. So this must be Hodor A and Hodor B. That's the star. So you're orbiting that star. Okay. sound of the engine just winding down. Sounds good. Just got your anaconda the other day. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, so this is the sis this is the body I'm supposed to be around. So do I just get close enough to drop out? Is that the idea? Am I close enough now? How close do I gotta be? Stop already? Okay. I'll drop out. I don't know how close I'm supposed to be, so I'm just here. I'm just doing my thing, man. <laughs> I'm like, it seems pretty close, but I don't know. You know? <sighs> All right. Throttle to zero. Throttling to zero. Right. There you go. Throttle down to zero. Okay. Back to... <laughs> I am now stopped. Uh, if you get bored, you can take a trip. I, I doubt I'm going to get hour plus trip in super cruise Hutton orbital why does everyone keep saying Hutton orbital is there there's like some sort of inside joke with Hutton orbital that has to be like three different people have told me I can get a free anaconda there now too 
back to Super Cruise you go. Do I really have to be in Super Cruise to do the surface, the surface stuff? The surface scanners? Really? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a station 0.2 light years away from the main star. 0.24 light years, light years away from Alpha Centauri, and they give you a free anaconda. Yeah, sure they do. <laughs> sure they do. We wouldn't actually let him do it. <laughs> okay, so what do I do here? Somebody's, somebody's telling me to go back to Super Cruise, but I'm so close. How do I do the, the other, um, the thing? Six million is ta takes about an hour and a half to get there. Jump to Super Cruise. Ugh. Frameshift drive charging. Fine. Ready to engage. Four, three. Fine. All right, we're in Super Cruise. Now what? I feel like I shouldn't be heading straight for it. I feel like I'm too close now. Am I too close now? I'm probably too close now. Okay, but it's over there. So uh, what do we do? Fire whatever the fire group is you're tied to. Okay, so I need to deploy this. And then do I fire it at the planet? I'm good. Wait, I think I've seen this before. I think I've seen this before. Super Cruise Assist will put you in orbit. Do I want that? I think I want that. How do I, uh, how do I get into orbit? Walk me through it, senpai. Push me your ways. Don't need to be facing the planet. Left click the mouse, okay. Ah! I have seen this before. Hang on. Keep hitting escape. I have definitely seen this before. Okay, do I need to be facing directly at the planet or can I just do this? Why can't I? I think I have to be facing directly at the planet, right? Because I can't, I can't move. It won't let me move. You can turn to the planet, just need to be targeting the planet. Okay, okay, good. So I do need to turn. I hate that I'm going this fast. I feel like I'm gonna hit it. I'm 10 kilometers away. 10 minutes away from impact, man. Nervous. I can't move, though. It's Nothing's happening. Am I supposed to rebind or something? No, no nothing. I can't do anything. Yeah, I don't need misinformation. Let me, let me back up. I feel like I'm too close. I, I'm nervous about it. I'm just going to back up a little bit. Give me like, I don't know, 30 kilometers instead of... Or give me like a 30 minute arrival instead of whatever I've got. Just real quick. I'm just going to turn around. It's fine. I don't, I, I don't know why it's not letting me move the mouse. All right, we'll slow down. And we'll turn around. It's not letting me move the mouse when I go into this. Like, I can't... I can't do anything once I'm in that view. Okay, so I'm a little bit further away now, and I feel more comfortable with it. Okay, so... Surface scanner. I have it. It's on this fire group. But nothing... I, I can't move in this interface. Weird. Planet side front view. What are B3? Hmm. 
Controls, detailed surface scanner, and check the mouse X and Y. Controls, detailed surface scanner. Check that mouse X and Y axis. Controls. Why is this stuff not binded already? What is going on with you guys? Uh, why are you off? I don't know if I want on or not. No. Like seriously, how is that disabled? God damn it. <laughs> how is that disabled? That's ridiculous. Also, it's very touchy. Elite, what are you doing to me right now? How in the world do you just unbind controls? Let's get the mouse sensitivity down though. It's a little, it's a little whack. Okay. Whew. All right. So I think what I'm supposed to do is go like this and like this and like this. Something like that, right? And then maybe, uh, I don't know, a little bit of this. You know? Something like that. Surface scanned by 50%. 77? Ooh, one more. <laughs> All right, there it is. We'll do one more just in case I'm wrong. We'll get the hang of it eventually. We get all the details, but I got 90%. 88%. So I need to be closer. I feel like being closer would have been better, actually. I want to impact it right there. I think that'll do it. If you get 90% scan in the efficiency target on the right side, you get 50% extra credits. You get 90% scanned in the efficiency target. Uh, efficiency target is six probes. Oh. Um, I'm not sure how many probes I just used. Oh, seven impacted. Okay, so I didn't. I did. I used too many probes. I have 89% right now. Yeah, I know it's behind my body and you can't see it, but it says 89%. It's lame. Fine. Fine. We'll use a few more. <sighs> okay, but hey, for my first attempt, you know, and I knew the dotted lines were the horizon, so like I wanted to push it over the horizon and stuff. I knew that part. How come I didn't get that spot? I just impacted it directly. What the heck? That's why. Hmm. I need to aim. I need to aim better on this side. I need better aim. It is fine. We'll just let it have it now. Whatevs. Nope. Wrong tool. Uh, this tool. Pew. Pew. That'll get me 90. <laughs> I think you need to take off the orbital lines. Looks so much better without. 
take off the orbital lines. Surface scan complete. Is that like a... Is that like a, uh, a setting in the game settings or something? All right, we're definitely doing more of this. I'm, I'm gonna get the hang of this, but that's just the one. So is there any other ones in here that I should practice? I don't really need to practice really. I just get data. Is that it though? That's all I have to do, right? Like I don't need to, That that is the process of collecting data and then I sell that data to wherever I go, right? And that's kind of it, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. All right, clock. Appreciate it. I'll open it up for everyone else now. Just so Bluesy can stop saying the same thing. Because people don't want to listen. But I appreciate it. Yeah. If, it's better. It's just better. If you all know it, that's great. But it's better if, if something is trying to be taught, that it's taught by a single person. That way there's coherency in how the steps are done and how they're delivered. And it, it, I don't have a whole bunch of people at different places telling me different ways. It, it just makes it more concise. So like if there's a person who's gonna walk me through a specific process, it's it's better to have it be a single person to do it. It doesn't really matter necessarily who it is, just as long as it's the same person, if that makes sense. Okay, I don't need, um, I don't need that planet to be the target anymore. So now I kind of like lost my route. Yeah, kind of like lost my route now. So, um, so we will go to the map again. There we go. And uh, the journey was to go to not that system. L P T. Uh, one, one, three, eight, three is here. Yes. Oh, that is already the route. Well, how come it's not? No, it's fine. It's fine. There it is. All good. I think I put the hard points away. Still shows them out though. Frameshift drive charging. Yellow star. Let's go. Whew. Whew. Okay, cool. Finding a planet that supports life is data gold. I want to. Sell the data to Universal Cartographics. Yeah, that's what I did the first one too, but it wasn't a whole lot of money because it wasn't very far away. But yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okie dokie. This is the first place I'm supposed to be for my journey. So I think we'll start things off by refilling our fuel. This is the... Uh, This is the first, uh, uh, first stop in our journey to our star, whatever stars we're going to go to. So I need to now slow down, right? 30 kilometers. And let's see if I remember how to do this. Okay. Do you remember how to do this? I go like this. And I've got signal that I can tune for here. Energy tuning failed, so not quite, not quite the right one. Well, it's, it lights up, but it doesn't let me zoom. There it goes. Oh, I have, it's got to be a, a full circle first. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Well, that looks like a place we could potentially do some. Now, this here says there are six planets. And then it, it says TWW. What the, what the heck does that mean? TWW. So, if anyone wants to know what the route is... Right? 
if anyone wants to know what the route is, um, you can go to ED Tools. It's for, you know, Elite Dangerous. Uh, you go to Road to Riches, and then you punch in the starting system at the top. Uh, and you can punch in Gertrud, uh, G-E-R-T-R-U-D. And you should see the page exactly as I do. So TWW means something. Uh, is a terraformable water world. Oh, that's what this one is. No, that's not what this one is. But that's number six is the one I'm looking for. And so this is number four, which is cool. We got data on that, but it's not the one I'm te te technically looking for. Um, so that's number four. Uh, so this one is probably going to be number five, maybe. Not quite tuned into the right signal here. No, not tuned correctly. There it is. Number 13. Icy body. Okay. No, I keep exiting out the wrong way. I need to learn how to back out. And I know how, I just don't do it. Uh, looking at another one here. I'd like this to be less sensitive. I have to adjust that. Convoy dispersal pattern. Okay, back out. Number 11. I mean, we should be able to just look exactly at the right body, right? Like, I can see the number on this, and I, I don't think it's the right one I want to go to, but... Really far away. Huh? Huh? It's so so touchy. Is it not there? Oh, it's supposed to go like this. Oh, okay. Got it. Found you! <laughs> oh, man. Weird. It doesn't highlight you already have data on it. If it doesn't highlight you already have data on it. Okay. Just taste experience. There's a lot of experience needed. I'm gonna be doing this so much. Offline, like tonight, like we're almost done with the stream today, but we got started on the road to riches. I'm probably gonna be doing like another five, six systems at least. Um, but think this is this is what I wanna do tomorrow night. So instead of the trucking stream, I, I, want, I wanted to do more of this tomorrow night. Um, so like that's, that's, by the way, if you wanna hang out with me tomorrow night, that, that's what I'm trying to do. I'll probably start live tomorrow um like kind of like right around this time but tomorrow you know like right around this time of day but tomorrow all right good so i just have to like you know it doesn't highlight it for me directly i just have to find it that way so that's that's this planet here the rocky body i'm not sure it's worth scanning it i'm looking at six i'm looking for six i don't know what that means Planet six. Yeah. T W W. There's something going on over here. Thought there was anyway. These are probably just signals though, right? It means you're looking for the sixth planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but I don't know how to tell where that one is. Can I, maybe, maybe I see it from, from this? Cluster six? Is that what I'm looking for? This is belt cluster though, not planet. Or unexplored, unexplored. Okay, so I, th I guess I have to find it. It just says unexplored everywhere. Oh, but I can say that it's 377 light seconds. So I can look at the one that says 377. This looks pretty close. It's probably this one. And I can lock destination. And maybe it will tell me where to point my camera because it also tells me how many light seconds away it is. So I think it's gonna give me that information. I should be able to pinpoint exactly where the planet I want is like that. Water world. We should go there. Huh? I think we should go there. What do you think? Water world. Looks pretty awesome. I think we should go there. Hey, I'm picking up how to do this. I'm learning how this works now. Scan everything, it's all worth cash. No, I know it's all worth cash, but um, it's about your time, right? Like my road could take me on five, six, seven, eight hundred systems. You know? And so if I'm spending my time scanning uh, scanning things that are gonna pay me really not a whole lot, when I could be exploring deeper and deeper and deeper and being paid really well for extra things, right? Yeah, that's where I'm going with that. Like I plan to do a lot, you know, I probably won't do the most optimal all the time. Um, but as far as surface scanning goes, that's a lot of time in one system when I could be visiting other systems. So I'm gonna try to get further out. And uh, if I'm gonna do stuff like this, where I'm just trying to scan it and see what's up, I'm only gonna do it on the ones that are actually worth a lot of money. Yeah, my jump range is 33.3, 33.28. 30, I think is what it is. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit closer. Probably right about here should be good. Go ahead and slow ourselves down. Eh, just a little bit closer is probably fine. good jump range for day two it's technically day four it's stream two but i play offline too you don't miss much this is a game that takes thousands of hours of your life away or at least it can so like i don't feel like you're missing anything if i play offline but i didn't want to do anything major any type of major milestone like okay i'm leaving the main systems now that was sort of a moment i wanted to share with people but that was about it Okay, surface. Aim at the horizon about here. Is that about it? Two, maybe three, four, five, six, See what that does for me. Gonna want seven. See what that does. Surface. 
this. Come on, give me the 90. You can do it. It's not going to. 76%, but I have one more left. Go there. Come on. Come on, just 14 more percent. You can do it. Ooh, that's a good spot. I thought it was anyway. Doesn't look like it. Oh man, only 80%. I gotta, I gotta have more practice at this. Oh, I don't know how you do that. Do that in such a few things. Well, I have... I can go further out, I guess, so... That's probably what I needed to do, is to go a little bit further out. Any tips or tricks on how to get it to be, like... You know? Aim past the horizon to hit the back side of the body. I thought I was. I thought I was. I guess I wasn't. It's okay, we got it. I wasn't gonna get the bonus, so I just chucked a whole bunch of them out there. That's fun, though. That's fun though. There's my data. That's the one that this this thing says that's the only one that's really worth doing in depth. Um, I guess if there's something else we can do here, cool, but it looks like that's the only one that's worth doing in depth on this system. So I think we can jump to the next one now. Uh, I mean, there's lots of unexplored things and maybe I should, uh, maybe we could scan, uh, is it? This one? This tool? Yeah. We could maybe look at some of these other things just to see what they are. What are you? I've already, I've already done that one. Done that one already. Oh, okay. These are just encoded a whole bunch of other stuff. See how much time it takes though? Like, especially if you're not experienced in doing it, of course, but it takes a lot of time to find these things. And so if you're doing this, high metal content world is kind of cool. How far away is that from us right now? How far away is that? All right, you know, I need practice, right? I need practice on getting the the bonuses anyway. So let's uh let's see if we can't get any bonuses with this one. Just trying to gain info before I actually get the game. What is the best type of weapon to damage hulls? If their shields are down, I would probably think missiles. <laughs> but yeah, missiles, bullets, anything kinetic, yeah. Lasers tend to be better at dissipating shields and stuff, but the thing about that, though, is you never have to buy ammo for your laser. So in the early game, I would just stack lasers because that's what I did. Um, but I think kinetic kinetic weapons are going to be better. It's once, these, once the shields could go down, right, then kinetic weapons would be better. Discovered LTT. Yeah, when you get close enough to things, then it, then you discover them anyway, right? You don't have to scan them if you're close enough to them. You'll just know where they are anyway. What are you? 
When it says I discovered it, does it mean I'm first? No. I can't imagine. Not not yet. No way. This is a high metal content world, so we'll do a little bit of a surface scan here to see what it's like. Then we'll hop to the next system. There's an Earth-like world in the next system, which is which is cash money. So next jump, we get an Earth-like planet. I know that's kind of spoilery. Sorry, but I did just give you the link so you can see my route. And we're obviously doing this off of a guide anyway. We're not doing it fresh. What I want to get into is doing things without the guide, going out where the guides haven't been made yet. I would love that. Just got to work my way on getting there. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get just a little bit closer. Okay. You know where planets are once you've honked the system. You know the details about a planet once you get close enough or scan them. Yeah. What I mean by the spoiler, though, is that the fact that there's an Earth-like world, I kind of, you know, that's the spoilery part. Let's say we'll go over top the horizon here. We need eight probes to cover this one. This must be a big boy. There. 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 And there. I'm also going to shoot it straight. Let's see what that gets me so far. So that you guys can see it. I'm trying to... F How the hell do I... <laughs> like, I need to get a frame for this. If we're going to stream this more often, I need to be, like, in a frame right about here so that you guys can always see the details, right? I'll do this for now. I'll just be in existence for now. Well, 70 percent's not bad. I think it could be better, but not bad. But it's still not the numbers I needed. Middle mouse button shows the backside. I get pretty damn well on the backside, let me tell you. This is the front side where I was lacking. Oh, oh, I might. Yes. I did it in eight. <laughs> Bonus. Bonus. Now I need to do that on the Earth-like planet, because that's that's where the money is, you know? Okay, so where's my next jump? I don't have a next jump. I haven't input it yet. So we need a new system for that. Uh, so I need to get Galaxy Map to be a hotkey. Uh, the next system we're going to is Kozu. Kozu? Something called Kozu. Pretty close. Still has a route unavailable. Not sure why. Why does it say route unavailable? Does anyone know why that why that tells me that? Like it's just a, it's a 15 light year jump. I don't, I don't get it. That's where I am. I want Kozu. No. Not available. One nice game thing about this game is the skills needed to play easier are are your own. The map is being dumb and targeting a different system. Oh. So the map is bugged. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> okay. Thanks. I just wasn't sure if it was something I was doing. 
Glad to know it's not me. The game thinks you're hovering over the, your current system, hence you can't plot. So just move the, wiggle the mouse a little bit. Got it. Maybe I'll put myself here. At least then you can see the scores. It's kind of bad though. Cause now my body's like cut off. It looks gross. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not gonna be happy. Wait. I got the solution. It's in. Ready? It's in. It's a genius plan. You're gonna. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna be like, "Oh my god, that is so brilliant! How did he? How did he come up with this? It's crazy how he just has this masterful mind." Ta-da! are a lot of fun, you know that? He is fast. Okay, I think I'm adequate amounts of space away from the star now. So That's fine. Take me out. You got you got nothing. You see all. Yeah, but I got nothing. Nothing for me here. I know, right? Crazy how that works. Bye. Frame shift drive charging. Sounds like Sonic music. It did switch to... It switched to a... Um, an 8-bit playlist or, or a playlist with an 8-bit theme Four, three, it's called pixel two, lounge one, which I happen to think is pretty cool a pixel lounge I don't remember if I've hawked yet I, I think I did but I don't remember I'm pretty sure I did it when I was scooping but it's okay Something here. Uh huh. And found it first try. Didn't even have to look at the list. What's up, Kozu Seven? Earth like world. Let's go. We are targeting you. We are on our way. Little did that guy know. The data is what I have that's valuable. Oh, Earth-like planet. Let's go. Now I have to wonder if I'm going to be able to get it in the or in the recommended amount of probes. Harold, have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me so much. I appreciate it. 
If you, anyone else wants to hang out a little longer, we are going to wrap up the stream after this planet here. Uh, but if anyone wants to hang out a little bit longer, um, we will be streaming again tomorrow night. I'm going to start around 5 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, as a reference, that's a half an hour ago. So check your clock. And 23 hours and 30 minutes from now is about when I um, plan to start again. We'll pick up not right where we left off because I'll probably have some time really late at night after my son goes to bed tonight um, to do a few more uh, in the in the plat in the path here. But we're gonna do the same stuff. We're gonna be searching. We're gonna be exploring, finding Earth-like worlds. It's gonna be fun times. Um, I'm having fun anyway with it. Uh, I'll be having some, some drinks. I encourage you to bring some drinks. Um, we're going to just casual, have a good time, lots of conversation. That's what it's all about, really, for me. So, yeah. What's with the 07 thing? It's it's like a salute. If you, yeah, if you think of it, the think of the O as you know, like a face, and then you, you know, you're, it, yeah, you're saluting. All right, Kozu7. Look at this place. I wonder if there are actually people on it. Or giraffes. Are there any giraffes on Kozu7? I hope they have giraffes. Specifically, giraffes. All right, six probes is what it's recommending. We'll start with the backside. Try to get right in the center of the backside. Not sure if I'll get it, but we'll give it a shot. Try that. And then uh, maybe we'll go like there and maybe one over here. See what that does first. Okay, so that hit a little bit. That's not a bad spread. That's a pretty good spread, actually, for the backside. Oh, I'm satisfied with that. 52% in three probes. That's pretty good. We'll hit uh, that side. Uh, that side. And I think maybe here. Let's see if that gets me 90. Might not have aimed that one right. We'll see. Oh, it's going to be close. Got it. What about hippos? Hippos can come too. Hippos are cool. Hippos are cool. They can come too. I kind of want to know what's around the outside of this thing. You know? Also, seeing the details of this place would be would be nice, wouldn't it? Target's too close. I want to know the details of the world. Can I see it? The details of this planet? The info panel at the top. Maybe that's not it. Can I see them in some other place? Surface map. Oh, this is its moon. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. Oh, heck yeah. We could go get the moon, too. That's Kozu 2? No, that's the wrong. That's not the moon. I want Kozu 7. Hang on. What in the world? Yeah, here. I want orbit. Give me orbit. Give me orbit. Gotta go see you later, Charlie. See you, Sonoka. Sanoka. 
Sudoku. Have a great rest of your day. Entering orbit. Surface maps don't exist for Earth-like worlds. Can I go make one? Can I land on it and... Can I land on it? Can I just land on it and get an SRV out? I mean, it's got an atmosphere. Am I allowed to land in an atmospheric planet? I don't, oh, I don't have Odyssey. What if it had, what if I had Odyssey? Could I do it then? That's not fair, it's an Earth-like world. I should be able to go on. I should be able to get in there. Does it have oxygen? Can I take my helmet off? <laughs> Not even an Audi. Ugh. Unbelievable. Can I enter orbit? I moved. Don't move the mouse. If you move the mouse, then you won't enter orbit. I'm just gonna let it enter me. I'm just gonna let it get me in orbit. That's fine with me. So if it once it enters me in orbit like this, if I don't touch anything, I'm just gonna go around the planet, right? Like that's, like I don't have to go anywhere. It's just gonna float and wrap around the planet, right? I mean, it's, it's an actual orbit, I assume. Why am I the only weirdo that loves Odyssey? I don't have enough experience in it to know if I love it. I've just, I mean, I, I realize that the voices will be, there'll be a lot of people who just don't like something and they'll be the loud minority. Um, but that being said, it's it costs more than the base game. And it actually almost costs more than the base game and Horizons combined. And with that being said, uh, yeah much how do i make this look normal instead of scanned like this is there a is there a thing i can do about that switch to combat mode oh that'll take care of it won't it uh like this yeah okay cool Thank you. If you can fly your way, you can enjoy the game your way. Yeah, exactly. Let's get some different music in here. I, the, the pixel thing was cool, but let's get some more in there. Okay, uh, I am, I think, gonna call it here for today, folks. I've had a glorious time with you all today. And as you can see, we found an Earth-like world. I'm sure there are many more out there to find. And um, we're going to find some stuff. We're going to explore some stuff. Tomorrow night, casual, laid back, get some drinks, maybe some snacks, put on some tunes. And we'll just find some cool worlds that we can stare at while we talk about nonsense. Whatever that nonsense is. But, yeah. There you go. Okay. I'm done now. I feel like today was a success. Join me on Twitter. Join me on Discord. Apparently the commands don't work because YouTube sucks. So you can find them in the description instead. Okay? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.